Okay, and we're live. Welcome back, everybody. We're gonna do some more Stadium 2. So last time, we had some unfortunate luck. Things didn't work out the way we wanted. However, this time, I've done a little bit of research on how this game works. And we're gonna see if we can make some progress. But I wanted to start today by trying the Challenge Cup, because how this works is you get random Pokemon and it's the same for the opponent, so there's no way to really, like, prepare for this. You just kind of go into it. As for Prime Cup, I made the mistake last time. I thought there were, like, four tiers to it, like Poke Cup in Stadium 1, but it's just one. You clear one tournament for Prime. That's why that final guy had a, had a Mew. I almost said Mewtwo. But anyhow, let's take a look at this. Um, yeah. Pokeball's level 30, then there's 45, 60, and 75. They're all random, so let's give it a try. Go to Pokeball. We're just going right into it, aren't we? I practice even when I'm camping. I can't lose. Okay, now what does he have? Oh, I'm not liking my odds so far. That, my Rattata is pink. Wait, can I not check stats? Hold up. Okay, there we go. Berry Juice, Cursed, Swift, Attract, Blizzard. Hmm. That's not very great. I can't believe the rat's special attack is like that. Why is the first half of the names capitalized and the back of his is capitalized? So Curse, Setup, Rat Attack. I could do that. I could set up uh, a tract and go for it. Okay, what about Shelter? Hang on. Rain Dance and Surf. Uh, this thing has Thunder, strangely enough. It has higher special as well, which is funny. It's actually its strongest option. Bitterberry. Larvitar. No, sorry, wrong one. Rock Slide, Fire, Pla uh, Fire Blast, Protect, Execute, Confusion, Reflect, Giga Drain, Larvitar is Dig, Toxic, Rock Slide. Okay, so I hear Challenge Cup is pretty infamous because of its very random nature. So we're just going to go for it and give it a try. And looking at his team... Hmm. Seems like water would work fairly well against him for sure, yeah. So we'll just take in the Shelter and Spam. And I guess the Execute can be back up for now. Hang on. I'm trying to remember my buttons here. And I don't know, maybe the rat at the end, because why not? Um, go for it. It's only the start. Yeah, there's a lot of weird stuff to this game, for sure. How's the audio? Fix this here. Is it random teams every battle? Or do I have to use the same team for the entire gauntlet? Okay, now. I think I can just go for Surf. I don't think I need to set up Rain Dance, I hope. I outspeed you, perfect. So anyways, I mentioned I was looking up stuff about this game. It's actually really wild how this game was programmed. Apparently, like, how it works is that when the, uh, the AI is choosing its team, it looks at your six Pokémon and assigns, like, a bunch of different values and, like, goes through all possible team combinations and kind of, like, adds a percentage chance of which one to use. It's really strange. Someone actually made, like, a whole calculator that you can input your rentals in, and it'll show you the chance of what teams are going to come out. Well, it's protecting. That's not too bad. That here. Shelter's attack missed. What's also strange is that some trainers have specific rules put into them. Like, for example, uh, Lance always has to bring in Dragonite, no matter what. I think all the Elite Four members have that. Like, Will always has to put Zatu on his team. And other trainers have weird rules. I'm just gonna use Rain Dance now, since he's doing this. Hang on. Other trainers have these really random rules to them, where it's like, oh, they have to take a Pokemon from this column at every time. And some of the rules even, like, conflict with each other, so there's actually some teams that have Pokemon that they're not even, like, it's not even possible for them to select. It's so strange. The rain effect is nice. Oh, it's going Protect, of course it is. 
How's the audio sound? Good? My microphone and game audio, just a good balance? Just checking on that. Rain continues to fall. I like this remix. I wonder if anything's gonna happen here. Come on. Begin with that saturated, inky water. Perfect, we did it. I've never tried Challenge Cup before. This is new for me. Go for it. But I've also kind of accepted that, like, this game is brutally hard. Like, after last time, everyone assured me, it's like, no, this game is just that ruthless. So I gotta have to start trading this game like I'm doing Purity 4 streams, and I have to accept that I'm probably gonna go a couple hours and then just lose it all at the end. I don't really want to have to cheat. <laughs> like, using the glitch. Unless I absolutely have to. But, man... I want to beat the game like I always wanted to when it worked on my N64. Anyways, I did it. Perfect. And extra continue. What? I lost. That's weird. There's also no way to know the enemy's held items without, like, looking up a resource or having the strategy guide. I feel like it's fair to, like, have a list of what the AI's items are going to be. But there's no way to do that for um, Challenge Cup because the teams are random. Excellent. There's inputs for infinite continues. Wait, are you saying there's like a cheat code you can do on the title screen that's different from the glitch? Anyways, this guy is a poison team. Hmm. Oh, no, you mean the glitch. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't call that inputs, but... Hmm. Definitely want to lead with Slugma because half the team is weak to fire. I can rock slide Zubat. Yeah, we'll take you. I suppose I can blizzard a good chunk of the team as well, but it is only Rattata, right? Uh, so let's take Rat in. As for the last one... Gosh, I don't really know. Larvitar is too weak to a lot of things. It has Dig, but... Only two of those it can really do good damage to. It might be best to take in Nidoran. Oops, sorry, wrong one. I guess that this isn't terrible for emergency backup. It has the typing to resist, but we'll give it a try. Let's give it a try. Okay, here comes a Bulba. It does a little frog sound. Only have five fire blasts, but it should be enough. What are you doing? Solar Beam on Slugma? Dude. I missed. That sucks. I wonder if I should just switch to Nidoran or something. Nah, I don't think I should switch. I should just go for it. Oh, wait, I have Protect. Dude, I totally... I didn't even realize that. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. I don't know the, the entire pool of rental mons for this. Like, is it... Is there just, like, uh, are they all the same? Like, if I get Slugma every time, will the Slugma always be the same one? Or is there, like, random moves they give it? Bulbasaur's little friend. Is he taking in sunlight again? Yes, he is. I missed the second one. Cool. So, chat, what's Fire Blast's accuracy again? Silly question. This is Stadium 2. Everything misses, no matter what. 85. 85. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. So that's two misses in a row of Fire Blast. Great start. Y'all also want to see it happen a third time? You ready? There you go. Just had to give it a little reverse psychology. Blithering fool. Yes, you lose. Now get out of here. Now I can go for Rock Slide on you. 
Wing attack. Exciting to see if Rock Slide will hit too. There it goes. Damn, okay, I just gotta land one more and we're good. Okay, Berry Juice. That won't matter. I actually don't remember what my held items are, to be honest. Maybe we should check that. Uh, Slugma has Paralyzed Cure. Raditz has Berry Juice. Nidoran has Bitter Berry. Challenge Cup is the only place I get held items outside of the basic ones, huh? They prepare for battle. Go for Wing Attack. What the hit Come on now. Yeah! Never been so excited to see a Zubat go down. Oh, what the? Just one Pokemon remains. Now, what's he got left? Uh, I could just go for Fire Blast. Thunder? Uh-oh. Haha! Okay, perfect. It'd be nice if I could also get the burn. Doesn't Fire Blast have a 30% burn rate? Nice. Okay. So far, so good. Remember, we have to not be afraid of losing after a lot of time invested. It's unfortunate, but hey, you were all here for the drama. Which is another reason I'm hesitant to use infinite continues. I mean, look, if I really wanted to, look, I found the button. You can make save states on N64 as well. For some reason, it's mapped to minus, but all the other Switch Online stuff has, uh... You use ZR and, and ZL to bring up that menu, which is weird. No fear. Super easy mode. If I wanted to, I could just save state until so every thunder hits. I think you'd make a good practice partner. Hmm. Okay. So we got four flying types, and then there's Ekans and Totodile. Looked like there was a theme at first, but not quite. Looks like they're mixing up a little more. Um... Raditz Blizzard is here. Hmm. Blizzard works good here. Only thing that worries me is Totodile, like, hitting me, hitting Slugma or Larvitar with, like, whatever it's got there. Definitely don't want a Giga Drain. Nidoran has Thunder. I suppose that's also an option. They all have the same na naming scheme, I guess. I don't know. A lot of the Pokemon Stadium naming conventions don't translate super well to English, because it's always funny stuff with the Japanese characters. Hang on. Double check, what does Rattata have? Swift Detract. And Rattata's a girl, so we can do that to Totodile, honestly. Maybe I'll start... Uh, I should prioritize getting to continue if I can, so maybe I should just bite the bullet and use Nidoran to spam Thunder. Okay. Hmm. Can't really use Double Kick on anything. I could double team, but can we really bet on that to work? And I'll take Slugma. Hmm. Hold on, I hit the wrong button. Nidoran, Slugma, and I'll take the rat for Blizzard. It's just, I worry that Totodile could take out both Slugma and Larvitar if I'm, if I'm real unlucky, so let's not worry. I hope you're all doing good. I'm excited for a fun day streaming. I felt really awful at the end of last, the last time I streamed this, because I really wanted to beat Marty, but that critical hit on Zapdos with Blizzard was disgusting. I was so upset about that. Hoot hoot. That hood is pouncing, look at it. It's bouncing. Ooh! That hoot just got hooted. Poor thing. That's not fair. Hey! You know, she's not wrong. Kinda is dumb. You all seem to like the last mod anyway. I uploaded it, it's doing pretty well. People love the stadium streams. Probably in part because of how brutal it is with just, uh, rentals. Sludge Bomb. Let's go. 
Ooh, that was a crit, but on poison side. To be fair, I had a really good winning streak. And the fact that my my major losses were at the end of the Elite Four and Prime Cup, I really am just kind of like taking that loss a little too hard, aren't I? That was a good win streak while it lasted. But I think we get all the easy fights out of the way. That didn't accomplish much. Go for it. Is the game volume a little low? Really? I actually have it higher than normal. How's it sound to you guys? That one scientist was dumb. Yes, he was. Let's hit thunder. Bring it up for thunder, everybody. The announcer is always a little bit muffled. Not a big deal. I should be able to finish it with fight now. I don't think the announcer is supposed to be super clear. If you're listening through a speaker, yeah. Let's see if I can keep a continue by swapping out. This Nidoran was the perfect wall for Ekans here, wasn't it? Ooh, Hopip. Okay, I can just swap in the Slugma and get a continue for sure. By the way, um, Dylan's not feeling well today, so we're not going to do Umbrella Chronicles. He's going to go right home after work, and we'll do it maybe next week. I think the announcer is just balanced low for this mode or something. Yeah, maybe. So I figured the extra time we have today, uh, after we're done this, I'm going to finish the last dungeon of Pikmin 2, and then finish the Castlevania mod. I played Pikmin 2 again for like five hours yesterday, but I have one cave left and I'm done. And I just like, yeah, I can't do this all in one go. Okay, let's do this. You think he's pushing himself lately? Well, I hope he rests too. Now let's hope I can set this hop up on fire. Hit. Perfect. Now, Dream Den doesn't have 100 floors, but it is the final dungeon with the last of the treasure and a cutscene at the end, too. There's 201 pieces of treasure in that game. And you really only need to get half of them to finish the initial debt. Okay, this is going well so far, but this is Pokeball tier. Huh? It's over already? That makes me so angry. Plane badge acquired. Recontinues. So it looks like I have to take these six Pokemon. Who is this? Overdrive, Riff, Rock is a... F Dude, he's like the Rocker class? He looks like a bootleg silver. Look at him. I'm not silver. I'm his cousin, Dilver. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay, he's got Chikorita and Sunkern. Because the teams uh, seem to be more random for Challenge Cup, there's no way to, like, look up a resource of what they have. So I, those held items could be anything. It looks like a good chunk of this team is weak to fire, and Slugma can probably take Pichu. Um, it's only Chikorita and Sunkern and Paris' grass type, so it should be relatively safe to bring Larvitar and use Dig for the electric types if needed. And Magnemite, yeah. Hmm, so... I'd like to account for the AI choosing its team, but from what I understand, like, it's programmed very strangely. Like, I think the game takes into account physical resistances, but due to a programming error, the game doesn't properly account for special, like, resistances when choosing its team either. I don't know if you can really exploit that, though. But from what I managed to read in that document people told me about, like, the guy who, like, broke this game open basically said that, like, a bunch of stuff that the game is supposed to check for when team building, it just doesn't work properly because someone programmed it in a very dumb way. Hmm. Okay, I guess it should be safe to start with Slugma. Hmm, take Larvitar as well. And... Hmm... What moves did Execute have? Confusion, Thief... It's only really good for Giga Drain, yeah. I 
could use Blizzard with the rat if needed. But Nidoran... Hmm... Nidoran can't really take out the grass type super well. Maybe just... These two should be fine, so I'll take the rat. Let's go. The battles are intensifying to a okay. This is round four. Let's do it. We'll leave you shocked and rocked. Hmm. He's probably going to go for an electric move, so switching to Larvitar is probably a good play. Rock ground type, so let's do it. A oh, little bit of randomness will be fun for the audience. Oh, it's Stadium VODs are very comfy. Oh, nice, it went T-Wave. Pichu looks so happy. Okay, now let's go underground. Nice. Pichu Swift. Okay, not bad. Once again, chat, I've been saying this a lot lately. I've been streaming so much and I have a crap ton to upload now. A lot of the recent VODs, though, are super long, longer than normal. I should probably get around to, like, I have a two-hour VOD of, uh, doing Stadium Round 2. And for Stadium 1, I mean. I still haven't, like, let that render yet, because I haven't had time. I had to edit that one a bit, because <laughs> it was, like, a couple of different streams put together there. Let's go to Slugma and hope we don't get hit by... I got a Paralyzed Cure Bear if you go for Stun Spore. Larvitar had... Oh! I have Hearthstone! Okay, Berry Juice... Yeah, go back to Slugma. Yeah, sorry. I know. I keep talking about Silent Hill every week, and I haven't stitched that one together yet. Spooky games. Autumn's approaching. Oh. Well, we got Protect. Nice. Just ignore the damage and go for it. Okay, perfect. Solar Beam's coming out. Okay. Go to this. Now set this on fire. Ow. Oh. Well... That berry will work, right? Now go for Fire Blast. And hit it again. Hit it this time, please. You're Paris, you're legally not, al not allowed to survive after fire hits you. Those mushrooms are cooked. Hold up a second. I should do a little stretch. Marip! I like how the, how, um, the nickname is how the announcer says it out loud. Marip, it's like they're making fun of him. Go back to Larvitar. Okay. Switch is good. Switch is good. Ooh, so sorry. Now we go underground, and we get it. Let me get a drink, too, yeah. Wonderful. Nope, that doesn't hit me. Perfect. It's only a Mareep. It's only a Mareep. Can it live? Nope. That's four battles with a continue now. Not bad, honestly. Hammered. One of the things I'm still salty about for last time, remember when um I managed to get the Lucky Paralysis on Mew with Thunder, and then it Miracle Buried, and then I got the Lucky Paralysis with Tri-Attack, and I still couldn't, like, kill it. <laughs> that was so silly. Okay, Bootleg Silver is beaten. He really just looks like a bootleg silver. Like, it's not even funny. It's not barely a joke. 
Here comes the fisherman. Some fishermen have no patience at all. Hurry up already. Bro, why are you here? Ooh. Okay, I can take a Nidoran for Thunder. I can also take an Execute for Giga Drain. Uh, no secondary type, so Giga Drain might be better, honestly. Hold up. Hang on. Uh, special is 65, Nidoran is special 53, so we'll take Execute. Hold up, hit the wrong button. Execute, Nido. Obviously, Slugma and Larvitar are out of question right now. Hmm. Shelter doesn't really... It only has Swift. Its attack is 64, though. And has Leer, if needed. I wonder if they set up Rain Dance. If I counter with my own Stab Surf, that would be good. But my special defense is pretty crusty. Ratata. No, sorry, that's Nidoran, sorry. Hang on. I wonder if... Most of the team is guys, so I could attract them if needed, but... Eh, Shelder or Ratata? Shelder or Ratata? I don't know. What's the hell item on Shelder? A Miracle Berry. I don't think they're running status conditions. Ratata has a berry juice, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It's probably better to take that in. Let's do it. Embrace the rat. The first two Pokemon should be enough, but as I'm learning with this game, you c it's always good to have like five backup plans because things can go wrong from a random crit. Now let's go right for Giga Drain. Can't tell if the execute's a different color or not. Good enough. Oh, it is setting up Rain Dance. I got Reflect, not Light Screen, so there's no point setting that up. I'm not confident I could kill with Confusion, so I'm just gonna kill it. He pretty much threw his lead away just for um, Rain Dance. You should absolutely never have the mindset to just, like, think that your last Pokémon won't matter. You have to think of, like, so many what-ifs in this game. All it takes is one bad roll of RNG and bam, life's over. Now if I go for Giga Drain again. I didn't see what my held item was. Ooh, you're not even gonna do a water move. Ooh, and that was a crit too. Honestly, they should go for a water move, because Stab, Rain Dance should do more damage than any random normal move. And now I'm just fully healed. Nice. Aye. Man said to hurry it up, so we're hurrying it up now. Oh, it's crabby indeed. Hit it with the drain. Go for it. For a split second, I thought it wasn't recording, and I was worried. You have no special, you're dead. Perfect egg sweep. Look at that. Perfect extra continue. I just have to move this screen a little bit here. There we go. Battles are fun, but so is fishing. Come join me sometime. Well, at least he's smart enough. He's more polite about it now. Five continues. I might actually do this. I'm not sure when Challenge Cup is considered when it's supposed to get really tough. You have no fear. There's a Clefa on that team. Clefa is what it is. Hmm. Got a handful of Psychic types, but all I have for that is Bite on Nidoran, which isn't very reassuring. Could potentially get... Mm, no, let me see here. If I use Slugma and Fire Blast, two of those, and Rock Slide Zubat. Hmm. Hold up a second. Didn't Execute have Thief? It did. 
but it's holding a berry, so it's not going to be able to steal anything. At the very least, it counts as a special move, so... Can use that as backup. Hmm. Don't really have a way to sweep you, don't I? I could use Slugma, Eateran, and Execute for this one. Not so sure, because Execute could kill Shelter easily. Ratata can't really do a whole lot here. Only Ratata. No, Ratata doesn't need Biter Crunch. It's special here. Okay. Let's go for it. <clears throat> Let's do it. It's slug time. Slowpoke. Crap. Best to go into egg. I can heal off the damage it does, I hope. Yeah, we're swapping out. Oh, good. It's one of these guys again. What it'll do... Would it switch or would it go for something else? Do I want to switch? I <sighs> wonder what I should do now. So if I switch into a confusion... Peter Ann will take it hard. If I switch into a water move, Slugma will get hit hard. My attack's already pretty crappy as it is, so I could just go for it. I have no idea what he's gonna do is the problem. Darn. Psycho. Oh. Oh, that's what you're doing! Fantastic! Please. No! And now it's going Psychic. And it got a critical. Dude, I I need to land th this drain. Come on, please. Please. Please, come on. Oh, thank goodness. Now get a crit. Execute still walls him super hard. So even with his buff, he can't do anything to me. Switching would have been really bad. Nice. And I can just heal off the damage he's done and go into the next one. And finally, that confusion was ass. Fantastic. That was one lucky slowpoke. Oh, That's right, lady. Get out of here. Okay. I, hit, I can hit you with Thief. Do you also have Thief? We're not the same Execute. I have different HP than yours. And a name. Okay. Okay, same deal. But you missed. They're all probably going to do the same thing, so it's probably safe to switch out of Execute once it's confused again and go back to Execute. Going for it. What will it do? Oh, its confusion made it tougher. I'm at plus four, so my hurt hitting myself would be bad. Let's see if it goes for Psych Up again. Psych Up never really felt like a Gen 2 move to me. I never really see it. The Pokemon appears with a crop. It's building up power. Oh. Well then, that works out quite well for me, doesn't it? I'll just protect and then we'll switch back to execute. Man, this slugma is kicking ass. I'm loving it. Look at it go. Okay, go back to execute. It's probably gonna go for swagger again, won't it, though? Executes typing really walls them if they're if solar beams are best option though. 
Okay, it just went for Psychic. It's not going to try. Don't think this thief is going to be... Actually, it might just be just enough. This is the third, and you're at a 92. I roll. Just great. Perfect. Not bad. Oh, there's one more. That was the second mod. That's right. Felt like it was long enough that it was the third. Kalefa. Look at it. Look at that goofy little thing. We gotta get rid of it. We can't let it live. If we let it escape, the whole world is gonna burn. That's right. Cry, Kleffa. Fire Blast! I told you this thing had the power of hell inside it. Hmm... Probably best I try and conserve the continue, so I could probably switch in the Slugma here. They're ready to go. The trainer switching Pokemon. Natural enemy of the Tennies. You're either a Tenny or you're a Cleffa. No, get away! Stop giving kisses! No! Cleffa's way of doing that is annoying. I could confuse you. I don't really want to. Um, I'm just go for Fire Blast to find out. Come on. Oh, no. With attack, At least Swagger didn't like increase my attack to make that worse. Go ahead, but the hit glance right off. It's a fierce battle. Come on now. Okay, we got it. Hit! The Cleffa is down. It toppled over. And look at that. We win. And I get another continue. Not sure I'm gonna need them at this point at this rate, but you never know. The road to glory stretches far. To left. Unstoppable with the frickin' rental slug. Another Team Rocket person. Are you ready to lose? Oh, you got Ditto? And a bunch of normal types. I only have double kick on Nidoran for that. So, let me see here. My attack's 51. Hmm... That ditto could cause so many problems if it wants to. I wonder if I should, like... <sighs> I wonder if I should, like, Toxic Stall a little bit. Toxic with Larvitar, then use Dig and Protect with Slugma. Hmm. Hi, Mina. Thank you for the raid. You just missed it, me beating up a Cleffa. Uh... I got Thunder for Spearow, so maybe Nidoran would be an okay lead. Hmm. Slugma can rock slide things. And thanks for the resub. Hmm. Odds are they're probably all physical attackers here, so Shelter might be okay. But they are normal types, so they could be packing a random thunder for all we know. The Shelter does have massive physical defense. And a Miracle Berry. Let's go for it. Let the semifinals begin. Despite their numerous battles, the remaining Pokemon still look ready for Let's go for it. Okay, the first one is Snubble. I don't think it's got any, uh, any psychic moves, so I should be able to just go for Double Kick. I feel like I should assume all stadium dittos just have metal powder or quick powder on them, right? Do both of those exist in Gen 2? I know one of them does. Take down. Okay, that's a stab, so... Mm, can I finish you with double kick after that? I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Metal does, okay. That's the defense power one, right? 
Ooh, so close. This will definitely take him out, though. A sharp attack. Hit. That inflicted some damage. I don't think I need to worry oh, about going for the continue on this one. I should just go for the random thunder. Maybe I'll get the paralysis. Who's faster here? Probably you, to be honest. Hmm. Best just hit. Best just die and get the safe switch in anyway. Yep, here it comes. So here's the thing. I know that Spiro can do nothing to capitalize on Rain Dance, and, he, and Shelder's got the physical defense. So I probably should set up Rain Dance right now with Shelder, and then just sweep the rest of the battle with with that. I hope. Only way that could blow up is, I mean, I don't really need Fire Blast on Slugma if it comes out, so it should be okay. Okay. Oh, it's Shelder. Velociraptor Screech. Two Pokemon remain on. Go Rain Dance. He's going swift. What'll it do? That did little damage. Yeah, it didn't. Oh look! There is a sudden downpour. Suddenly it's raining. A hot battle is unfolding. What now? The hit flash. Yeah. Now let's go for our full power surf. Ooh, not quite enough to finish him. It's fine, though. I hope the last one isn't Ditto, though. If the last one's Ditto, I should switch to Slugma, so Shelder can finish it off. Oh, but my HP's already low with Shelder, so that could be rough. But if I let it turn into Shelder, it'll kill Slugma easily. Please don't send out Ditto. Please don't. I really don't want to deal with that. <laughs> that won't be nice. Oh, it's Ditto. It's Ditto. I can confuse it with Slugma, but then I buff its Rock Slide, but... I might lose this one. Oh, this is rough. Shelter should be able to take a hit, I hope. And now it's a matter of who hits Rock Slide. Don't want to buff his Rock Slide, so yeah, I probably shouldn't go for Swagger, it's too risky. Super effective. Here comes yours. Rain is stopped. For speed tie, so yeah. Come on, just hit. We have the HP lead, so this will kill you. Okay, perfect. That extra HP mattered so much. Yes, it did. You're joking. Oh, that was a little tense, wasn't it? You lose. No way. Bad news. Last one. No losses and six continues. Is that the juggler? He looks so edgy. Working on my juggling and polishing my battle skills. They're similar in a way. Dude, look at him. He doesn't look like a juggler. <laughs> he looks like an evil dude. Now looking at this team... Hmm... Can Fire Blast, Venonet and Sunkern, can Rock Slide Vulpix... Larvitar can get destroyed by Shelder. And so can Vulpix, so I probably should take Slugmon Shelter. As for Drowsy... 
Hmm. I could take a Nidoran and use Bite, but then it can just use a Psychic move and kill me. Might be better to use Execute, because Ex Execute's typing will let it wall a lot, except for Vulpix, but Vulpix should be easily dispatched, I think. The question is, what's the lead gonna be? It might be better to start with Shelter, because if Sunkern or Venonet come out first, I can always easily swap into Slugma safely. And Shelter can kind of wall Sentrant for the most part and just Surf at the death. Then we'll take Shelter, Slugma, and Execute. Hold up, I think I... Panicking that I'm not hitting the right button again. Let's go. This is it! The final battle! Which trainer will claim the champion's throne? This is the wild encounter theme. Okay, nice. Vulpix right off the bat. Is he gonna go for Sunny Day though? We'll find out. He's going Confuse Ray. Oh, that's that could be rough. Oh right, I forgot I had that. A sharp attack. You lose. Damn, not enough. Berry juice. Okay, well another hit will take you out, no problem. I got a free out from confusion. Let's hope I can hit the next one. Devious. No! At least my attack isn't buffed, so this'll do nothing. I don't think he can do a whole lot. It's only Gen 2, so okay. My special's bad, but I can resist. Ah, come on. No! You take like one more. Come on, man. I got burned. Please hit. Please hit, man. Oh, come on, dude! That was disgusting. Just got RNG'd there. Yes, I did. Well, now. Execute has a burnt berry, but obviously it's Execute. Let's see if... This is why we have continues for when stuff like this happens. <laughs> My confusion luck is always abysmal. Yes, it is. They're both hanging tough. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. You ready? You ready? You ready? You want to see it happen again? Slugma's confused. No! Oh, dude! It's like four times in a row, right? What's this? A light pass. Oh, it's he late. got the ten percent flinch too. My dude. Yeah, okay, let's go. Let's go. What, do do? what is this full pixel's problem? I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> What is this battle? <laughs> Dude, this is not my day to buy a lottery ticket. I can tell you that much. Oh, headbutt is 30% flinch? It's still bad. That's still bad to keep happening. Doesn't matter, I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna die for confusion. Oh, I hit! I hit! I did it! I killed the Vulpix! Hi, Lorelei. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been holding a King's Rock? No idea. Thanks for the resub, Lorelai. Well then, he's definitely gonna outspeed me. I'm pretty much dead, aren't I? Yep. All I have left is Execute. Unless I get it like a critical thief? Like, okay, like... I can definitely do this with my continues, but like, come on, man. This was, this was disgusting. This is, this is worse than last time. That's what this is. Oh, it's Execute. This is the last 
I had the right plays all along. I had the right choice, I just had all the bad luck. Oh, a critical? Oh, it's not gonna be enough though. What? Excuse me? No, no, you did not just do that. That's right, you whiffed that. He's going for dynamic punch now. And I'm actually terrified he's gonna hit it. <laughs> okay. Let's go. If he keeps whiffing, I might have a chance. I might have a chance. I can crit kill if I get a crit. One more. Oh, he hit it. I think we all know how this is going to end. Oh, I got it. 1v1, but I'm confused. I got the disadvantage. Oh, this is great. There's, there's no way. I can't die to a Sunkern. Bro, <laughs> I can't die like this. Yes, yes. Confuse him for good measure. <gasps> oh, sweet justice. Sweet revenge. How do you like it? I was using curse. Let's go. This is a fierce final battle, all right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Kill it. One more. No. I'm alive. I'm alive. Come on. We did it. We did it. Holy moly, that battle was disgusting. Teddy's cheer, I got my trophy. The champion has been decided. Yes, it has. Holy moly. Didn't even need to continue. If that's the way you want it, I'll self-destruct with my Voltor. Bro, calm down. <laughs> Holy crap. Now it's just gonna play this. That was something all right, wasn't it? Dramatic much. Yes, he was, wasn't he? Oh, boy. Ugh, that rat is pink for some reason. The Teddy's cheer, because we got ourselves a freaking trophy. Number of tries, one. Oh, it actually, like, displays that. That's cool. Even the trophies are a little different. Now then, now that we've done that... Good start to Challenge Cup indeed, yeah. I don't think I want to go right back into Great Ball, because I feel like I'm only going to set myself up for failure trying that. Okay, hello friend. I'm glad you're doing fine. Uh, I could give Gym Leader Castle another try. We could give it another good go. I mean, I at least got one thing cleared today, right? It took almost an hour, but I did beat the first challenge cup. Okay, so I wanted to try out some other stuff for this because I've heard about some other strats for this. Let me see here. Yeah, some of the Pokemon I used before were good, but apparently using Pineco and Voltorb to just explode is actually a very good strategy here. Oh, hang on. Yeah, swap this. Fira was also good. Um, What items do I want to put on these guys, though, actually? I'm kind of curious about that. Doesn't seem like a big deal. Uh, not that I'm seeing anything now. I guess the items are so useless here that it actually doesn't matter in the strategy. 
But Firo is good because it has Drill Peck and Toxic as a last-ditch everything. Thank you for this recent uh, sub there, friend. Appreciate it. Oh, boy. I could put this on for Paralysis, because why not? Or maybe for Burn, because you're that. Wobbuffet should at least have the Berry, because it can use the extra health, even if it's very minor. So hang on, let me check this. Apparently, unironically, for a couple of these battles, just starting with um, Voltorb and Pineco and self-destructing can be really good for you. I don't think you need to use it to set up Rain Dance or anything, though. You just want to self-destruct. I guess the item doesn't matter. I'll put something on, because I guess you never know. Um, Kadabra is still good. Kadabra seems to be, like, just always good in some way or another. We find it here. There it is. I suppose I'll give it the Paralyzed Cure Berry, because you never know. Thanks for the sub there, friend, too. Everybody subbing and getting bears. And... Hang on. And Haunter can do something? What is it? Oh, it's, it's for Destiny Bonding. Is it because it's fast enough to do that? I'm kind of curious about that. Let me double check here. Hmm, pardon me, holding back a thing here. I'm trying to just see a thing here. Yeah, there's a few Pokemon, especially on Koga's team, that Kadabra Psychic can Oko for sure. Like, doesn't matter if you roll low or high, so it's always good to have that there. Okay. I'm just kind of unsure of why Haunter's recommended Mon here. You see here. Oh, I understand. Bruno's, one of Bruno's uh, trainer rules is that he always has to bring in Onyx, and you can, as an extra thing, you can use Giga Drain to just instantly kill it with Haunter. Because it's always in range for that. But you want it mainly for Destiny Bond. Maybe Spite for like a, a couple of low PP moves? I'm not quite sure. Do I give it anything? I guess. This for confusion? I don't know. And as for other stuff... Yeah. Will always has to bring in Zatu. Koga has to always bring in Venomoth. Bruno always brings in Onyx for some reason. But instead of Machamp, which is really weird. And Karen has to always bring in Umbreon, it seems. It's really weird. Just some trainers are programmed with specific rules like that. And Lance always has to have Dragonite on his team as well. Again, we're still kind of labbing this stuff. Like, if you're new to this series, the rental Pokemon are considered very bad for Stadium 2 because they really wanted to, like, push you to use your Game Boy games back in the day. So in order for the rentals to be good, people had to, like, seriously, like, break down, like, everything they can do and come up with different strategies. But even then, it's still up to, like, RNG and trial and error to an extent. So it's exciting to overcome, but brutal to do. And I guess the last ones are meant to be Wobbuffet. And Pineco is recommended because apparently Explosion is just that good. You can throw it out. Oh, it also has Giga Drain for Onyx. Okay. You can throw it out and just, like, delete the opponent's first Pokemon in some situations. Yeah, you can't cheese with Jinx anymore. I guess give it the Mint Berry. Wobbuffet is good, but here's the thing we learned last time. Miracoat does not work on Dark types because it's a psychic move. Apparently in Gen 3 and onward, it ignores types, but you can't mirror coat Umbreon or Tyranitar, and that thing is, that is devastating on certain trainers. So, you just have to do this. I wonder if Voltorb and Pineco are also recommended because them being weaker Pokemon also affects the AI's decision. Hang on a second. I want to actually test this a little bit. Like, what if I put these Pokemon in into the l little thing. I want to I want to see how it works. Okay. Bear with me for a second. Bear with me. Luckily, I can just type the Pokémon's name and it searches it. Cuz a lot of research went into breaking this down, and every time I do these like streams, I'm kind of just curious how this game works. Okay, Fero Voltorb Kadabra Haunter. That it's interesting to explain that to the viewer. Well, in some cases, I guess you could call it cheating, but 
at the same time, I feel like it's better than just banging my head against a wall, wondering why my thunder is just missed with Zapdos for the 30th time. We all saw that, Bullpix. Okay, Pineco. Knowing the strat is one thing, but testing it and learning, like, why it's good is another one. Okay. I have to do the same thing for round two in Stadium 1. And I'll set it to Elite Four round one. Interesting here. I'm checking this. Knowledge is power. That's right. Let's go. So according to this, let me see here. The highest probability team that Will will use is Zatu, Girafferig, and Clefable. Apparently, there's always one team that has much more probability than the other ones, but there's always a small chance he could he could deviate from that. Like the top, like the top team is 42%, and the second pick is 14%. So it's like a pseudo random thing where he can just kind of like, he might, he most likely will use the top one, but he could use the other ones to throw you off. But Zatu is always on his team, but only in a few of them. What does he not lead with Zatu? It looks like if I look at those teams, there's a 28% chance that Zatu won't be the lead. Okay, a 4% chance he can lead with Jinx. That's really weird. Really weird, yeah. With that in mind, though, who do I want to take into Will, though, as well? Okay... So it looks like Will is actually, to speed things up, what you want to do is you want to use Pineco and Voltorb and just explode to get it over with quickly. <laughs> you know what? I'm down with that. I like that crap. Pineco and Voltorb and Firo can clean up with Drill Peck. Because... What's the odds of him bringing Exeggutor? Exeggutor is actually, like, on uh, the low percent teams. It's not in his top percents. Hmm... That's really weird. I mean, you see my videos. I like seeing how Pokemon games work like this. It's cool. So, Pineco, Voltorb, and Fero. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's good. Let's go for it. Gotta go? Alright, catch you later, yo yo. Will he win? Will he win? Voltorb is also there to a Mirror Coat Exeggutor's Psychic. Oh, okay. Let's do it. I noticed that this stadium lags a little bit. Well then. I like that icon for Pineco there. So we just always explode. Because if it doesn't work, we can just reset. So can I tank a Fire Punch with this? Yes, I can. Okay, perfect. A massive explosion. A vicious hit. What's the chance of a Kadabra lead? Uh, there's two teams that can ha lead with Kadabra, and they're both 14%. This is interesting, yeah. So 28%, yeah. Excellent. It seems that the what happens is that... Okay, next I want a Voltorb. It seems that the game generates eight teams and assigns a percentage value to each of them, with one of them being hev more heavily weighted. But some trainers have, like, a restriction where they only choose from the top four teams selected. So we're gonna just gonna blow up over and over so we can get Will over with. Okay. I told you, like, I I spent some time looking up how this game works because I did not want... I'm going to have my revenge against Marty next time. So from here on out, Fero should be able to just kill everything. So if he used Kadabra and has Clefable, he has to have Zatu last because he always take, he's always takes Zatu. Okay. Drill Peck should be able to one-shot you. Let's do this. I kind of expected it to live, but it's fine. Oh, no! No! Oh, this could go bad. Oh, it's a reset right there. <laughs> You're right, Will. I am unlucky. I am unlucky. That was almost good. You see what I mean? 
all that strategy and it can still just get RNG'd. <laughs> that wasn't a bad uh, bad decision though. We either win fast or lose fast and it's just will. Turn one thunder paralysis, hell yes. I wonder if there's notes for Firo versus Clefable here. Let me see here. Ba, 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 ba. Sorry about that, but I'm shooting for the top myself. Yeah, it's re-enter. Kind of curious here. Oh, interesting. There's notes for um, Drill Peck's range on Clefable. 54 to 64 damage. Okay, definitely had more than that, but... Like, yeah, the notes for this stuff is really cool. Like, a lot of people have, have also just told me when they're playing this themselves on Switch Online that, like, they have to look up some of the notes themselves because people labbing this stuff back in the day was the only way to really win with rentals. More so in Stadium 2 because the rentals are just extra poop. I saw a saying on social media recently saying that the rentals in Stadium 2 are so bad that it it is like it is common for the rent for the freaking rental Gyarados to lose to a Rapidash. That's how bad they are. <laughs> Just that bad. Anyways, so we're going to go Pineco, Voltorb, and Firo. Whoa! Following the challenger's victories over the gym leader, I respect the idea of using the strategy of quick explosions because if it fails, you can just instantly reset because it's just will. It's not just bad movesets. Like, a lot of the Pokemon have bad IVs and stuff. Okay, he led with Zatu. Many of his team combinations start with Zatu. Let me see now. Oh, you know what I just realized? Hold up a second. Hold up a second. This is on me. There's actually a thing here that says that, like, don't use a self-destruct on the Clefable. You're supposed to switch in that case. <laughs> I'm not going through this like a script, but, like, I'm just kind of glancing over at the notes to understand, like, the thought process of some of this stuff. Okay, that's fine, though. Anyways, let's just explode. I should be okay. Here's an attack on the Psych. Yeah, the rental mons are intentionally bad. It's so that you use uh, gold, silver, and crystal. A what impressive impact. Got him. Oh so if Clefable knockout. comes out second, and I have already have Voltorb out, what about Voltorb? Obviously, it's not going to use Thunder on Voltorb, so it's safe switching to Firo, I think. But even then... Well, Fable kind of ruins this a bit, huh? Yeah, they want you to spend more money. That's what they want. Same reason Pokemon Coliseum exists in Gen 3. They need a Johto DLC for you to complete your Pokedex. Okay. Giraffe should be safe. So we're just going to go self-destruct. I think this is the top percentage team, so the last Pokemon will be Clefable. So I just have to not get hit by Thunder, I guess. Send in Fero. Hold up now. Hmm. So Drill Peck can't finish this? Hmm. I'm not sure. I should be okay. He only has 55 and it's Drill Peck. I'm just a bit worried now. Quick question. I know that in Stadium 1, if you lit get the kill, kill with a Hyper Beam, you still have to recharge the next turn, right? Does that still apply to Stadium 2? trainer hasn't issued a command. No? Okay. Okay, well, there was a crit. They fixed it? Alright, good. So, well, hang on, make sure we're on the same page. If I kill with Hyper Beam, do I need to recharge on next Pokemon? 
Okay, so this is annoying because I don't have a choice but to use Drill Pack against this thing. Hmm. Oh dear. So it looks like to kill this thing, I'm gonna have to use Drill Peck and Hyper Beam. Now, we have to hope that Thunder misses, of course. Yeah. But Hyper Beam can also miss. I mean, this is YOLO strats, basically, but still. I'm just trying to make sure I understand the thought process here. That was a glancing blow. So Hyper Beam can kill it from green like this? Oh, it missed. Okay. Okay. Or not, actually. I don't think Hyper Beam is going to kill it. Oh, no, it can't. It literally can't. <laughs> I think the max damage Fero's Hyper Beam can do to Clefable is 118. So, I just have to Drill Peck again, then Hyper Beam. Let's do it. Clefable is kind of an ass here, ain't it? Here it comes. Yeah, finish it with this. We learned last attempt that Drill Peck does not do enough damage to kill. And there we go. Win. I blew it all. Oh boy, there we go. That Clefable is worrying because it can easily ruin this. But I guess it makes sense to just yeet and delete things with the two bombs first. I'm impressed. So am I. I can't believe I won that. If Clefable would have hit Thunder, though, I wouldn't have been able to kill from Hyper Beam range, so I'm not so sure about that plan. It seems like it's a quick gamble. It seems like the odds are against me for finishing up with Clefable. Or, sorry, Vero. Now, Koga... Hold up a second. Let me put him into the thing. It seems very likely he starts with Electrode. Hmm. His Venomoth has a Focus Band. Are you serious? Dude. And he always brings that in, too, huh? Golbat can cure Paralysis. Hmm. So it seems like it's the same strategy. Just use Pineco and Voltorb to explode, and then Kadabra can clean up with Psychic. Hmm. Venomoth always has to be on his team, though. The most likely team is Electrode, Ariados, Venomoth. I'm trying to think here. So, assuming Electrode comes out first, the explosions will delete him. Kadabra can kind of one-shot things. But can Kadabra... What on this team can Kadabra not one-shot with Psychic? I'm curious about this. Gliger and Muk are a two-hit KO with Psychic. Okay. Okay. Hmm. They, they all use double team. That's the problem. I didn't want to bring in, um... I didn't want to bring in Umbreon this time. Because I only really use it for the one thing. So it's just hope my explosions hit and kill him, huh? I'm not sure I like this plan, to be honest. It is... <laughs> it's, it's a little unfortunate, ain't it? If he double teams first... Bam. Or maybe the AI prioritizes Toxic first. I can't remember what it did last time. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's give it a try. The next opponent is Koga. The challenger must let's go be for it. By this ninja. Here he comes. Let Pineco do it. Okay. So apparently Voltorb's meant to be a backup plan if Pineco's explosion misses. That's a fantastic strategy. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're banking it all on explosion versus double team. That's the optimal strategy, apparently. 
That's why I'm second guessing everything, but okay. We hit it. We hit it. Let's go. Look at that. This screams optimal. Yes, it does. So apparently now, Voltorb's backup to switch into if a uh, Kadabra doesn't work out, right? Hmm. I'm curious about this. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, apparently you just want to Kadabra your way through this now with Psychic. Before they manage to set up another double team. This thing has a focus band, so we could just have a nightmare fighting it just because. And now we spam Psychic before it sets up. That's the plan. Dabber sweep. Special defense fell. Oh. We don't like this. Unironically, using explosion with Pineco just to get rid of one Pokemon. You know what? I'm fine with that. A single Pokemon could just ruin your whole day with bad RNG, so just give them one instance of good RNG for you and bam, they're gone. Venomoth isn't flying bug. There we go. It's a uh, poison bug. Last one is Golbat. Okay, that's actually an uncommon team for him. So it should be fine. Hmm. Hmm. I guess all I can do is spam Psychic against it, really. I don't know what Golbat does. Nice. He's going Toxic. Okay, it doesn't matter what I use now. He's probably going to use Protector Detect, though, like the other ones did before. Yeah, here it is. He's not going to have enough turns to kill me with this, so I win. Unless he's getting five detects in a row. Okay, he, he got two. He got two. That's already cheating if you in my book, if you ask me. Go Thunder Punch. Don't you dare. Damn right it failed. What's the odds of getting, like, the third detect to protect? I think the odds are, like... Ridiculous by the third and fourth one, right? Holy moly. That could have been bad, huh? So remember, Bruno always has to bring in Onyx, which is really weird. It's one in 64 for five in a row. Oh, that's actually not as bad as I thought. But still. Stands to reason that you defeated Will. We did it. Continue. Worcester lost to a toxic detect Murkrow four turns in a row. Wow. Wow, that's disgusting right there, isn't it? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I'm kind of curious about this. Because Haunter and Pineco both have Giga Drain, right? Hang on. Yeah, I do. Apparently, you want to use that to delete the Onyx, so you can still get an explosion after the fact. Hmm. There's also Golem, but... Golem's actually rare for him to choose, it seems. Hmm. It seems like it's not possible for him to actually lead with... Hold up. Oh, no, I think I read the thing wrong. He can't... It's not It's not Onyx that he always brings. I'm sorry, I'm wrong. Hold up. I'm going to double-check this right now. Always brings Machamp. Okay. 
That's on me. Okay, then that's fine. Prefers not to lead with best Pokemon, so he very rarely will even lead with Machamp. Is that it? Oh yeah, like no possible team combinations will he put out Machamp first, it seems. It's one of those weird AI rules. Yeah, okay. He's not- it's Brock that wants to lead with Onix, of course. That's probably what I'm thinking of, yeah. I'm just trying to think here with the second. Hmm. Okay, see, this is what's confusing me, because most of, the, most of the stuff I hear about this game makes sense when you think about it for five seconds, but then, like, someone tells me something absurd, like, Pineco is supposed to use Giga Drain against Heracross, and I'm like, Ex excuse me? What are you talking about? Excuse me? Pineco should use Giga Drain versus Heracross lead. Why? Oh, it's because he's going to switch? He switches Heracross out of that, really. I never would have even thought of that, to be honest. That's that's weird. And Heracross is his most likely lead. That is that's the nut that's the reason they use Pineco? <laughs> he switches out of that? Is that a guarantee though? It's it's so he switches to a rock type, because rock's good against bug. That's gotta be it. Yeah, I never would have even considered something like that. It is about manipulating the AI after all, is it? Okay, okay. So we'll take Haunter, Kadabra. Oops, sorry, I said that wrong. Pineco. Hang on. Pineco, Haunter, and Kadabra for this. This could be bad though, because he has like quite a different like layout of team variety. Even if though he always takes Machamp, it's. Here's the thing, like, it's more common for him to bring Blastoise than either Golem or Onix. And it doesn't seem like he can bring both Golem and Onix at the same time. Or at least, he doesn't seem to, to prefer that, like, ever. Even his, like, 1% chance teams won't even, like, consider that. Okay. Many brains went into making these notes. Yes, act absolute big brain. Let's try it. The third opponent is Bruno. How will the challenge See, this is why you need to ask questions. This is a class now. We're all good little moomin studying. I hope he leads with Heracross so I can see this happen, because I don't e I'm not even sure I believe it. Blastoise lead, okay. The odds of that are, it's an uncommon team, yeah. So, it looks like in this case you just want to blow up, right? Stop making you learn. No, knowledge is power. You gotta, you gotta graduate from Teddy School here. Any more back talk and you will be sent to detention with the Cleffas. I should be able to tank a Surf. He'll survive, yeah, but then he won't be able to do anything as, like, Kadabra finishes it off. Okay. He's down. Okay. Oh, boy. Did I get a crit with that explosion? I didn't actually see. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What do I want to do then? What do I want to do here? <sighs> Let's see now. Let's see now. If he picked Blastoise, that means he's either taken... Ma he has to have Machamp on his team, which means his other Pokemon is either Onix or Golem, so I think we can kind of figure out what he has from there, because I don't think he takes both Blastoise and Kangaskhan together, because he tr always wants to have like a certain amount of variety. Hang on, I want to look at this. No. Matter, Kangaskhan and Blastoise have a have a 1.5% chance of being on the same team. Yeah, I don't think I need to worry about that. <laughs> so weird. Blastoise did go down in one. Yeah, I'm honestly surprised Blastoise should have that. Ah, uh, but who do I bring out next? The if he's got... Uh, if he's got... Champ. Okay, hang on. 
I should probably go with Haunter, yeah. Cadaver can be cleanup, because Haunter can use Giga Drain on Onyx or Golem, and then Destiny Bond the Machamp, right? Because it's probably going to, like, hit with Earthquake. Matter, I think this will be... I think this might work. Oh, Is there a Kaizo Stadium? I don't recall. Oh, it's Machamp. Okay, it's Machamp. Two Pokemon remain on each side. Uh, does Machamp have Earthquake? I want to assume it does. It does have Earthquake. It absolutely will be going for Earthquake. I thought so last time. So I guess I just do Destiny Bond, and I hope that I can Psychic the, uh, the Onyx or Golem. That's a bit annoying. Okay, let's do it. Super effective. It took the opponent down with it. There goes Machamp. Oh boy. It's taking its opponent down with it. Velociraptor Screech. Oh boy. Now all I have left is Kadabra. I'm not Can I I don't think I can one shot with Psychic though. Wait, it's Onyx. It's Onyx. One of the worst special defenses in the game. I have to be able to kill it with, with Psych. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's Kadabra. This is the last Pokemon. Oh. Just one on one now. That's all I can do. Go for the Psych, bro. Please kill it. Please. That's it. What impressive impact. Oh, no. It dug its way underground. I can use Reflect. I can use Reflect, and he won't kill me. Because I'm going to outspeed and not be able to hit him this turn. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's do this. This is so nerve-wracking, man. Wish he would have just sent this out first so Haunter could Giga Drain it. What? Oh, I didn't even need the Reflect. He's too weak. He's too freaking weak. I did it. That's a hit. Thank goodness. Oh, no. Attack equal to Oddish. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. They didn't fix him in this gen. He's still bad. Oh, I don't think a critical hit could have even killed me. What? This can't be happening. Now it's left is Karen. Oh, golly. Okay, so for Karen... You don't want to explode at all. I'm Karen. Would you care for a showdown with my dark type Pokemon? Oh, golly. Hmm. I'm trying to think here. I'm trying to think here. So we don't want to explode against anything. Oh, man. Of course, hang on. Which I know that one of her Pokemon had a Quick Claw, but I can't remember which one. I need to double check that. Which was it? It's Umbreon, and Umbreon has a Tract and Confuse Ray. Oh, that's something you don't want to get clawed by. That's for sure. Oh, oh, you guys aren't going to believe this. You guys aren't going to believe this. Literally every possible team combination for Karen always leads with Umbreon. Always. <laughs> She's not just prioritizing bringing it, she's always prioritizing leading with it. And it starts with a claw, too, so that can just completely throw a wrench into everything. Magmar doesn't have an item? Oh, you're right, it doesn't. Hold up, does it have Thief? It does, yeah, it has Thief. Wait a second, all her Pokémon have a Tract. Really? Okay, then. That really sucks. Hmm... Okay. Karen is apparently a very, very weird fight from what I'm what I'm hearing from people. Hmm. Well then, let's do it. First, we'll take Vero. Then we'll take Haunter. And for the last, Kadabra. This is weird. A 
And now the challenger faces Let's see we knew it. The last of the elite force. Will the challenger be able to thwart her dark type Pokemon and take the victory? Umbreon has to lead. So apparently this Umbreon is super scary. Like super, super scary. Hmm. This is really weird. Once again, it's this is like weird strategies I'm hearing about for this fight. You apparently just want to waste the turn with pursuit. Because she just goes for Confuse Ray. Like you don't even want to drill peck instead. That's so weird. And then next turn, you want to send out Haunter. This is fine. And we switch. Because it doesn't matter what damage we'll be on it at all. So I take one Psychic. And now I should be able to use Destiny Bond unless Quick Claw activates. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Can you imagine doing all that and then losing because Quick Claw activated? I would cry. <laughs> this is how you get rid of the dumb Umbreon. Dude. Years of research gone into these tactics. And and at the end, there's just a little asterisk. It's like, lol, quick lol. <laughs> it looks cool when you pull it off, but if it goes wrong, it looks stupid, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, well, that's what I hate about that. Okay. No, I'm not even joking. Like, of the notes that were just, like, sent to me, if Haunter gets killed by quick lol... Go into Firo, then use Drill Peck three times, and then Hyper Beam while confused. Lol. It literally says lol at the end of that. Good luck. Good luck with that if you got Quick Claw, bro. <laughs> oh, dear. The run will probably be over anyway. <laughs> like, what are these extra notes here, dude? That's so funny. Uh, I'm just wandering here. So it looks like... I can Psychic everything else, unless Murkrow comes out, in which case I can use Thunder Punch. I'm just trying to make sure I understand the strategies here. The rentals are so bad, yeah. You can only use a few of them, and you have to really understand how good a few of them are. <laughs> well, here we go. Apparently Gengar and Victory Bell die one shot from Psychic. Hmm. Fileplume dies in two hits. Get ready to go. Unless I get a crit, that'd be nice. Oh, what's this? Okay, we're good. Oh god. Great. I think I should just switch. Go to Pharaoh, finish with Drill Pack, and then keep Kadabra to finish off the rest of them, because. Kadabra can Psychic everything except Umbreon and Murkrow, and I can Thunder Punch Murkrow. Let's do this. Imagine the sanity of, of someone, like, documenting all this and writing the notes out. <laughs> now imagine being a speedrunner and memorizing all this stuff. And getting- and doing a run over and over until you die. Okay, as long as Firo can just get the kill, I should be okay. Firo's a girl, so I can't use, um, attract on me. Come on. Nice. You basically need perfect RNG, yeah. Or connect with Gen 2 and just spam Mewtwo. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Oh, nice. This is fine. Kadabra can one-shot this, so once Firo goes, it's we're all good. Or spam Snorlax, yes. Okay. 
The drill pack's good. They're both hanging tough. Here we go. Get hit by acid. I've basically won. Now let me tell you about how terrible Lance is from what I'm understanding here. To, to stand a chance against against Lance with rentals, you have to Destiny Bond with Haunter and also have Wobbuffet ready. Last time I did this, I had Wobbuffet, right? But you know what happens? I couldn't I couldn't do anything because Miracote doesn't work on Tyranitar and I just I just lost. But you have to have Wobbuffet on backup after Destiny Bonding the Tyranitar apparently, because that's just fun. That's super fun. Good golly. Hey, there we go. That settles this battle. And there goes the battle. Hang on a second. What, what? Excuse me? Haunter has to Destiny Bond against everything. Every lead except Aerodactyl. If Aerodactyl leads in, just switch to Voltorb to sacrifice it. <laughs> and then you set up Wapafet. <laughs> That's the plan! Voltorb is there just to, just to be a sacrificial switch-in. <laughs> so silly. Dude, you can't even win with the rentals. You have to just, like, time the explosions. That's the whole strat. <laughs> All right, let's get him. Let's get him. This is just Pikmin now. Yes, it is. This will be on the test class. Write it down. I thought you'd be able to get this far. Yeah, we're having my salty run back. Haunter is apparently so weak that everything can kill it one hit, except Aerodactyl. No, wait, Aerodactyl can kill it one hit, it just outspeeds it. I see. So hang on a second, I need to be aware, is there any Quick Claws on this team? Let me just double check this, Champion Lance. Dragonite has a Focus Band and he always takes it in, of course he does, of course he freaking does. There's more than a 50% chance that he will always lead with Tyranitar. And there is... Uh-oh. Looks like close to an 18% total chance he'll lead with Aerodactyl, so that's when things can go south. Oh boy. Yeah, the perfect team for the Dark-type trainer is to use a Psychic and Ghost-type. <laughs> Pretty much. Gyarados has a Paralyzed Cure Berry because, of course... Well then... Well then, oh good golly, I guess we gotta do this. Haunter, Wobbuffet, and the Voltorb just to sacrifice. And possibly explode as a last resort, doesn't come to that. Oh boy. Haunter, Wobbuffet, Voltorb. I'm worried about this, I'm worried about this, I'm worried about this. Gar Wait, his Gyarados has sleep talk? Does it really? Let me look at that. Yes, it does, but it doesn't have a rest. You're telling me they gave Gyarados randomly sleep talk just in case you try to put it to sleep. That's mean. That's really, really mean, ain't it? You ready? Let's do it. Believe, everyone. Not Silver's theme. Please don't be Aerodactyl. Please don't be Aerodactyl. Please don't be Aerodactyl. It's Steelix. Hold up. What are the chances of that? Okay. Oh, the same chance as Aerodactyl. 18%. It's weird. Okay. So we just want to use Destiny Bond against everything because he's probably just going to Earthquake me. Let's do it. Hugging your Typhlosion plush for good luck. Good. Yeah, let's do it. Hmm. So since he has to always have Dragonite, that means his only other Pokemon can be Gyarados or Charizard. Good. I think I can do that. Okay. Oh dear. 
We don't have to worry about Aerodactyl coming in, it seems. So let's do this. It doesn't seem like Aerodactyl can be a part of this team. Oh, he can't take Steelix and Aerodactyl because they're both basically already the physical walls in a way. And now we have Dragonite. Oh boy. Uh, uh, what does it have? It has Steel Wing, Hyper Beam, Thunder, and Dragon Breath. Oh, fantastic. So it has half and half, huh? They're However, people seem to believe that Dragonite tends to prioritize using Hyper Beam from what I heard last time, so... Counter. They prepare for battle. Here it comes! Don't, no crit, no crit. Nice. I killed Dragonite with it. Holy crap. Cool boy. Wait, does this mean I can just spam Destiny Bond and win? I think that I think it works. Uh I'm just trying to, like, figure this out. I could just spam Destiny Bond, but he also has Fly, so... Hmm. Hmm. If I have more than 102 HP, spam Miracote against Charizard, huh? I guess... Okay, I definitely have more than that much HP, but what is Charizard's moves? I'm worried about this. It looks like, wait, wait, he only has one special move. So is he going to prioritize Flamethrower? Probably. See, there's no, no way for me to know that. Even looking at the moves, I probably would hit counter. All right, let's give it a try. Hasn't lied to me so far. Hit Miracote. He went Flamethrower, okay. I did it! Lance is beaten! We did it with stupid down. strats! You the gym leader Holy moly, I can't believe it. The nonsense of the amount of things you just have to know to pull this crap off, and it could still just go bad. <laughs> My goodness. This is the emergence of a new champion. That was wild. I can see defeat. You might have what it takes to prevail over Kanto's gym leaders. I feel like I still should have used Destiny Bond against the Charizard, though, because it didn't seem safe. Because what if it didn't use Flamethrower? So I unlock Kanto now, right? Johto gym leader castle clear. Thank you all for all the teddies. We did it, everybody. So you're the trainer who conquered Johto Castle. Come on, I'll take you on anytime. And now we're just over here. Wait, so I can pick them in any order? Okay. Oh, it's just one battle? Oh. Well, that's a lot easier to deal with. Erica looks like a completely different person. She still has green hair. And so does Surge now. Look at him. Any order just like GSE. I'm pretty sure Blaine's is just a recycled portrait from Stadium 1. Same with uh, Blue there. But everyone else looks new. Surge looks younger now. Even in Stadium, Kanto's easier, I suppose. Hold up, anything different here? Some items, or same items, cannot be held. Okay. Okay. 
So everyone is just like Jasmine's gym, and now I can just like pick whatever, huh? But I can't see his Pokemon when I'm choosing here, so I should probably like look at that, shouldn't I? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Seems like, okay, does he actually just have all rock types? Or hang on. I don't need to look up an in-depth strategy for this. Because if it's just one battle, we don't have to worry about losing the gauntlet. I'm just trying to find a page to see what his Pokemon are so I can choose that. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Kanto round one. It looks like he just has his gym team. He's got Onyx, Golem, the two uh, Kanto fossils, Fortress, and Pinsir. And the rule is he always has to lead with Onyx. Or sorry, always has to have Onyx, my bad. He has two bug types, I guess. Well then, I guess in the anime he did catch a Pineco. Okay, I'm not going to look at the uh, any of the notes for these fights for now. For now, let's just, like, pick based on what they have. You won't have to go do the play-by-play -play for everything. Um, if there's two bugs, we'll probably want... Uh, probably want a fire type. Hang on. We know that Vaporeon and Jolteon aren't that great, but... What about Magmar? Fire Punch could be used for Pinsir and Fortress. Flareon has Fire Blast problem with that is that if it get hit by a physical move, it's gonna really suffer for that, sadly. Hmm. But it could be a good switch in, if needed. I don't know. What's the stats here? 143 HP, 146 HP. Um, Flareon has better stats anyway. Other than this, don't have to worry about outspeeding him, to be honest, do I? Most of his Pokemon are dead slow. Should I take a baby Flareon? Okay... Definitely should take a water type with Surf. Maybe Seedra would be good for this again. Sleep hardly matters. Hang on. Seedra still has Surf, so that could be good. We probably should take an Electric type. Burn, Paralysis. I don't think these are going to come up in this fight. Maybe a Grass-type as well. It's Blizzard there. I mean, I'm picking six, but I'm only taking in three, right? Um, I got my Water-type. Who's considered one of the best Electric-types? I still think that's probably Zapdos. Hang on a second. The only rock moves that the fossils can learn in Gen 2 are Ancient Power, right? Let me double check that. Yes. Omastar has Surf and Blizzard for some reason, though, so they're just going to spam Ancient Power. I probably could take those with Zapdos anyway. Outspeed and go for the Thunder. Rock Smash for the other ones. <laughs> I don't know about that, though. Maybe having an Earthquake user would be good here, too. Their special is pitiful. Actually, wait, no. Omastar has good special. More than its attack, actually, so... Can't just Dawn fan my way out of this, can I? I could for a good chunk of them, maybe. I could also probably just bring in Wobbuffet and use Counter for, like, everything on the team, to be honest. Because I don't think... Everything except Omastar, really. Hmm. Most strategic thought Brock has ever faced, yeah. Haunter with Destiny Bond honestly isn't a bad play. Haunter is fast, so I understand the appeal of the rental one now. Plus, having Giga Drain would actually... Actually, yeah. Giga Drain is times four effective on, like, four of his, his Pokemon. I didn't think about that. Hold up. Is there any other Giga Drain users that are good? Let me check about that. Uh, there's you. What about Steelix? Ah, I don't think I need to do that. Slowking is bleh. Sunflora has Razor Leaf. Uh, what about Jumpluff? It's got Mega Drain and 83 Special. 
Holy crap, Kabutops has higher special than you. That's bad. Um, I already know this is that. What about Meganium? Solar Beam, Reflect, Poison Powder. Uh, I suppose I probably could also just charge Solar Beam with this thing. Or he'll probably switch into Pincer or Fortress, though, let's be real. Honestly, the Haunter might actually not be a bad play. Can you use Destiny Bond, guaranteed to go first, get hit with Earthquake and take him with it, or just use Giga Drain, right? I suppose Pincer and Fortress won't really do anything to it, but... Hmm... I think it's not a bad idea, yeah. Put that there. Gengar is Gengar. What about Grimer and Muck? What do they have? Dynamic Punch. Dodrio's not really the good one here. Hold up, I'm just gonna close something here. Boop. Grass coverage with that ain't bad. You also have Solar Beam. You got Razor Leaf. Is Bellsprout the one with Giga Drain? Yes, of course it is. Don't think I'm gonna Psychic my way through this. Parasect has... Oh, okay, Parasect has Giga Drain, but its special attack is 90. Bleh. Spore or not, that's not really gonna do a whole lot for you. What about Vileplume? Vileplume has Petal Dance. Honestly, it's not the worst thing in the world to throw out there and spam. Again, though, I'm locked into Petal Dance, so it could... That could cure with confusion. Ah, we can, we can lab this a bit. The Kanto Gyms, if they're only one battle, I shouldn't ha I should be able to relax a lot. Unless I lose and have to redo them all from the beginning, or something crap like that. Let's go. Have you ever seen the durability of rock Pokemon? So here's the thing. We always know for sure that Onyx has to be on the team. However, it seems highly unlikely that he'd take Onyx and Golem together because they're both rock round. So with the same logic, I'm not I, I'm not putting these into the calculator, by the way. I'm trying to just kind of spitball this from what I've learned. I don't think he'd take both fossils in with him either then because they both have the same coverage. So which means he's probably going to take in most likely the team is Onyx, one of the two bugs and one of the two fossils. Hmm. I probably should have taken more coverage for one of the bugs, to be honest. Hmm. I'll start with Haunter. Only, only Zapdos had Fly, yeah. Haunter, Bile Plume, or no, I can't really do that. I need to need to make sure I can get rid of the bugs, so Flareon can do that. I suppose I also could just counter them more consistently, couldn't I? Ah, but that's a little annoying. Maybe I don't need the electric coverage, so I'll take Flareon and Seedra. If this doesn't work, I'll just repick. Oh, nice! They redid these gyms. That's cool. We've earned ourselves some relaxing fights after going through some stuff. We got two wins so far, by the way. We got we beat the Elite Four, finally, and Champ. Okay, he led with Onyx, perfect. And we beat Challenge Cup Tier 1. Commands are made. It's a good remix, yeah. Go Giga Drain. Bam, Giga Drain. Bam, See, this is what I like liked about checking the notes. Learning the strats with the Elite Four made me realize how good this Haunter can be. It's one thing to just, like, look at what's good, but actually, like, finding out why they're good helps so much more. He actually went Golem? Oh, he's losing. Let's go. Give me that, give me that. Oh, I can't one-shot it. He's going Magnitude. Get a roll four. Seven. Come on. Nope, I'm dead. There, fantastic. He looks so animated. He actually does use Onyx Golem in a lot of his teams, really. So I guess I called it wrong. So... I guess we'll go Seedra. Hopefully his last one is uh, one of the fossils or something. Actually, no, the bugs that would be I'd be more prepared for. I guess you can't really predict everything, huh? Everyone just has too many stupid rules.
since these are only just one battle long, I should probably just leave them here so I can have a battle to win and not feel bad after I lose a tournament. Well now, this is bad. Flareon's not going to be able to do anything to this guy, so I gotta make sure I kill it. He's going surf. Wow, he has nothing. He has nothing right now. You want me to punch the, t uh, the team in right now to see what the odds of this one is? I can do that. Pretty much, it's over now anyway. Now, who did I take again? Let me just pop in Haunter. Boop. Seedra. I picked Zapdos as well, didn't I? Hang on. And let me just put in Surf and win. I also picked Wobbuffet. Uh, Flareon. And who was the last one I picked? I don't remember. I can't remember who I picked as my six. Show me. Not gonna show it there. Vile Plume, thank you. Didn't really need to think too much about that the team at all, did I? Okay. So it looks like I got the most common team, which was Onyx Golem Omastar. Always brings Onyx, prefers not to lead with best Pokemon, so it prioritizes the fossils as being good. The game knows Onyx is so bad that Onyx is almost always a lead because it, it has the rule of not leading with the best Mon. That's funny. Oh, hang on. So I won. So is there really no catch to this? Like, I can beat them all at my own leisure, and if I lose, it doesn't reset, right? I hope. Oopsie. Backed out there. I guess they just didn't want to give trainers to every or put trainers everywhere, right? Kanto Gym Leader Castle. It's just the Gym Leader Towers there. It's basically a victory lap. Okay. Hmm. Let me try Misty's team then. Now, let me just use this to see what her team is. So I can pick accordingly. Why does she have a Sun Flora? A sun flora with scope lens and razor leaf. Oh boy. Um, she has a toga tick, which I guess that makes sense because of anime. So it seems like thunder spam is mostly good, except for Quagsire. I thought she'd have that. Hang on. Red's probably in this. I recall him being there. The haunter wouldn't be a bad pick again. Could use Giga Drain for most of it. Uh, honestly, the Sun Flora can't really- can't even do anything to this, so I could just spam Shadow Ball until it's dead, especially since defense is Sun Flora's weakness. Yeah, this Haunter is actually pretty sick. Maybe I should give it the Berry in this case. Um, what else? What do you think for Misty Chat? Again, I'm just, like, looking at what her team is. I'm not, like, going over, like, the- the speed- any, like, strategy notes for this anymore. Because there's only one battle. We don't have to worry about losing it all in a gauntlet. Okay. Down here. What's Chikorita have? Look at that little dinosaur. Uh, I heard the rental Heracross was good, but is that Prime Cup? What does this one have? Right, it can't have... Jeez, it, it, it's kind of poopy here. I think the Prime one has Megahorn. Ursa Ring has Fire Punch. <laughs> Maybe that would have been good for Brock. I mean, dig and Fire Punch, but it doesn't matter. Um... I only really need to pick three Pokemon for this, don't I? I wonder if I can AI manipulate the rest, but it doesn't matter. Kingdra is that. I wonder how much coverage they have. Do they have good coverage for anything? It seems like Starmie is, like, running Psychic and Thunder, because of course it is. I wonder if that case I should just take Zapdos. Hold up a second. They all have Rain Dance. 
Yeah, that'll work on all of them except Quagsire, so maybe I should, uh, just... Yeah. Yeah, let's take that. Maybe put a Paralysis Berry on you, because that could happen. Left is a good choice. Chat ban that... Mods ban that person. I'm joking. I'm joking. This time... I fumbled my joke anyway. Um, what else we got? Hmm... I don't really need to pick three, and the rest are just throwaways for a second here. Knock Punch, Ice Punch... Hunter, Zapdos seem good. I'm just kind of wondering if there's something else. I almost wonder if I should just pick Dodrio, but no, wait. Rain Dance, Thunder, and Starmie. That wouldn't be good. Um, maybe my own Quagsire? Because I could get the Rain Dance buff and ignore Starmie's Thunder if it happens. But then their water moves are neutral and they'll be buffed. Quagsire's stupid slow. Jolteon has Zap Cannon. No, no, no. Porygon has Blizzard and Tri-Attack. Too slow to really make use of that. What does Snorlax have? Fire Punch and Headbutt. Nothing decent gets Thunderbolt, yeah. It used to be Thunder Spam was good in Stadium 1, but everyone who would get Thunder before now gets Zap Cannon, except Zapdos for some reason. See? Z Zap Cannon Dynamic Punch. Flip a coin. You win or lose. Hollytoad has Parasong. Good luck with that. We got Psybeam. Better than Confusion, at least. Uh, I'm just trying to think of what would be a good final one here. Raikou got Spark. This is a regular-ass Raikou right there. Now we're gonna watch out for Thunder. Hmm. I wonder if I should just take Wobbuffet and Mirror Coat. Do they even have physical moves? Yeah, some of them do. Probably just for that reason. But I feel like they're always gonna prioritize using water moves. Except in the case of, um, when water is resisted, right? Hmm. You can give it a try. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, right? Can anyone put me to sleep? Not really, no, but it, Togetic has Metronome. Who knows what the hell it'll do with that. The other ones don't matter, so we're, take, we're taking the top three in. I'm honored. Welcome. It's my turn. I'm Misty, the water trainer. Okay, I know my picks. Let's do it. I like how they just touched up the gym leader castle from Stadium 1. It looks nice. Lead with Quagsire. You know you want to. You know you want to. Come on. Okay, it's Starmie. Now, my attack with Haunter is pretty ass. Hmm. Could save Haunter for another one. Hmm. Right, Misty's rule is she always needs to bring in Starmie. Probably would be best to use Wobbuffet to get rid of Starmie. To be honest. Let's do that, because she's probably going to turn one set up with Rain Dance. Honor's attack is too low to make use of Shadow Ball, and Giga Drain's not going to one-shot it. Oh, you went turn one Psychic. Of course you did, I'm part poison. Let's go Mirror Coat. Oh, you're rain dancing. This is no problem. Are you gonna go Thunder, or are you gonna go Surf? Let's find out. There's no way to really know their held items, except for, um, having the strategy guide back in the day. Apparently Starmie has King's Rock. So it could randomly make me flinch, which would suck. Goodbye, Starmie. Hey, what was that for? 
Don't pout at me, Missy. Oh, I basically won now. Can I outspeed Quagsire and just Destiny Bond it? That would be so funny. No, it's going to kill me. However, I can probably more than likely kill it with Giga Drain. Some of the rentals have Thief, but I'm not sure how viable it is. I assume you'd have to have a very specific matchup and strategy to make that work, though. Especially since most items aren't guarantees. Hope you're not switching. Now take it. Ah, it's not a one-shot. Darn it. I should have Destiny Bonded it. Oh, I didn't even think about it having Earthquake, to be honest. Oh, well. That's on me. I had the right team, but I didn't have the right play there. I got so greedy for the Giga Drain kill, I didn't even think of just Destiny Bonding off of that. All I can do now is Rock Smash Quagsire. <laughs> Wait, no. I should probably detect and let the, um, the rain run out so he wastes a turn using another dance. Then I get an extra shot on it, right? Let's do this. Let's try it. Okay. Can I two-shot it with Rock Smash? Let's hope. Let's hope. If I get the defense drop. Oh, that's disgustingly awful. Yeah, I threw. I totally threw. Oh, oh, man. I should have just destiny bonded, man. Seven damage, dude. Oh, defense drop. He's not going to use rain dance. He doesn't need it. The only way I could win is if I get use one flash and it just makes a miss over and over. But I've lost. It's fine. Oh, there's the drop. When I got that in the first one, we'd be here. We'd almost have it. Oh, crit. Yay, that feels great. You beat up my pets. Turns out I didn't need the drain. I needed the, de I needed the bond with Haunter. Oh, Golduck was the last. Ah, oh, man. You know, we can look at this as a positive. A positive to show that Rock Smash on Zapdos does nothing. Because I can't tell you how many times I've seen someone tell me, why did you use not, not use Rock Smash with Zapdos? It's super effective against Rock types. And I'm like, hmm, 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 gee. <laughs> Let me just use that Rock Smash with Zapdos. Yeah, it'll do a tons of damage. You'll see. Um... Probably gonna lead with Starmie again, so I should probably go Wobbuffet, Haunter, and Zapdos here. Excellent. Excellent. Why didn't you use Thunder on Quagsire? I've seen that one before, too. Not on Stadium 2, but in general. Bro, you had a Thunder move. Just why didn't you kill the Quagsire? Does this guy know how to play Pokemon? <laughs> oh, nice. I got it. Excellent. Oh, you're doing this first, huh? Okay. Guess it makes sense for her to prioritize that. Remember, she's got King's Rock, so she could maybe just make me flinch, and that would suck. Something, something, walk on the berry soil. I still get those comments to this day. To this day on that video, Kuda. You know you can walk on the soil, right? No, you can't. No, you can't. Stop telling me you can. Wobbuffet's mirror coat. Uh, I'm talking about the Larvitar video on the other channel. Hey, what's that for? Golduck, okay. Um. Golduck only has Hydro Pump, right? 
Its other moves are physical and rain dance. It's probably going to prioritize hydro pump, but would that kill me? If it kills me, then there's no point destiny bonding because it'll outspeed me. I should just use mirror coat and see if I live and finish him with it. He's going to okay. go for hydro. He's got to go for hydro. Yeah, come on. Hit me. Hit me. Hurt me more, snake. Ah, oh, too bad. Down it goes. Okay. Hmm. The next Pokemon needs to be prepared. Well then. Probably best to use Zapdos. Ah, but what if what if she switches to Quagsire? Oh, that would suck again, wouldn't it? Pokemon have been chosen. Oh, it's Zapdos! I should probably use Detect Turn 1, and also wear out the, the rain again, I guess. Let's do that. Yep, you're switching, I knew it. This pretty much confirms Quagsire's last. A lot of people here today. Oh, it's Stadium Day. People love the Stadium streams. No, the move failed. Okay, it's probably gonna go for Surf, but I need to wait for the rain to wear off, then send in Haunter to uh, Destiny Bond it. I could, I may have lost this though. I should have, I should have used Flash on the Switch. But I'll use it now. I'll see if the Flash can buy me a victory. Boop, boop, boop. Oh yeah, we got like huge numbers right now. Lots of, lots of little moments here. No, but that reminds me. Uh. Oh, come on. I did a lot. Rain, rain stopped now. now well, Zapdos is down a bit. I remember yesterday when I was playing Pikmin 2, there was someone that showed up right away, and they started, like, back trying to backseat, like, everything I was doing. And I'm like, hey, could you stop that? You're not even right about half the stuff you're saying. And then they just leapt in a huff. There we go. Mean streamer man bullies his audience once again. Oh, damn. He, he took me down to half, exactly. Well. We know what to do now. Oh, no. That might not kill now. There we go. You only bully your mods? That's right, I do. Well, it's all up to whether or not Thunder hits now. I hope you're all excited. <laughs> Backseaters who can't even help. No, that's how it works. The thing about playing older games is that half the people who backseat, they're either like someone with like extreme technical knowledge of the game and are tr genuinely trying to help, or it's someone who misremembers something from when they were a child. I might be dead if this hits. Ah, there it is. That sucks. They misremember something from when they were a kid, and they adamantly try to tell you to do it. Excellent. Like, for example, I remember one time, someone tried to insist to me that you could find Bonsly in Emerald version. I'm like, no, that's that's only in Pokemon XD they put that in. But like, no, I remember it from a kid, but no, no, you remember wrong. You remember wrong. Okay... Let's go again. Send him back in. The strat will work. I just need to not miss the move. Remember when we were, there were five different answers for trying to spawn Piximon in Digimon World 1? I remember that. Yay. Let me see now. Once again, probably best to lead with Wobbuffet. Or if Starmie starts with Rain Dance, I wonder if I should just start with Zapdos? No, if I start with Zapdos, she's just gonna immediately switch to Quagsire if it's on the team again, right? But if I start with Haunter, she'll go for Psychic turn one. So it's probably best to just always Wobbuffet, Zapdos, and Haunter. I could use the notes to help make this go faster, but I feel like the Pokemon I picked are good enough. So I'm just gonna try and win since there's... Ugh, there's infinite continues here. 
when people say they remember being able to give Pokemon items in Gen 1. Yeah, I remember that too. But I remember doing that. No, you don't. No, you don't. Poliwhirl! Uh-oh. Well, it's Poliwhirl. What's it gonna do? It's probably gonna use Rain Dance turn one. Let's find out. They prepare for battle. Yep, Rain Dance. So it's either gonna go for a random physical move or probably Hydro Pump. Let's try this. Yeah, Vampy, that's actually a really common one I see on like every Gen 1 video. People insist to me that Gen 1 did not have two types. Pokemon could only have one type in that game, and I'm like, I don't know what you are talking about, but that is not true. Okay. Ah. And that's unfortunate. I got hit by paralysis, so I may have just lost. Darn. So he's just not gonna do that, huh? This one is just bad. I feel like I'm just gonna reset this one now. That's what I'm gonna do. I surrender. She paralyzed Wobbuffet, it's over. So it's not a guarantee that she can have Quagsire on the team. You know what, maybe I will just start with Zapdos. How about that, Misty? How about that? We've seen that as common so far. Okay, Zapdos, Wobbuffet, Haunter. Let's do it. Oh boy! Knew someone in high school who insisted four times weaknesses didn't exist before Gen 3. Oh yeah, those are always fun. Send it in! Here comes Starmie. If you're gonna switch, reveal that you've got- reveal that you've got it. Go ahead. Yep. Okay, here we go. We know that Quagsire will never use... Hmm. It should be fine to switch now. Let's try this here. Yeah, Haunter can Destiny Bond this easy now, because you're not going to Earthquake against Zapdos. There's a book in Earl's Academy here that talks about it with Gyarados as an example, lol. Yeah. Also, hope you're feeling better, Dylan. We can do another day. Okay, there's the Rain Dance. Let's go Destiny Ball and see if you go Earthquake now. Which, by the way, uh, if you wanted to do Sunday, I might be able to do that. Because I might want it to go to the Street Fighter Weekly next week. But I'm, we can figure that out later. I am definitely dead. Quagsire is down. Just taking it easy now? Okay, good. Alright, that's fine. Maybe next Wednesday then should be fine. Stupid. Did she just call me a Baka? Is that what her dialogue is? In Japanese? Hi, welcome back, Yo-Yo. So the rain's up, now Zapdos can just go to town with Thunder. Misty just called me a Baka chat. You're gonna outspeed me, but I'm gonna hit you with full accuracy Thunder. Excellent. Come on. Goodbye, Starmie. I thought I was about to live on one health. Hey, what was that for? Excellent. By the way, Dylan, since you just got here, you missed me discovering the funny strategy of using Pineco, Explosion, and the Elite Four. That crap is funny. Um, this thing outspeeds me, doesn't it? Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, no. Unless it misses Hydro Pump. Oh, you watched it? Okay, you're in the background. I still can't believe that Giga Drain versus Heracross is optimal because it's they're supposed to switch into a rock type. Return! What now? Damn. Right. That's a hit. Down it goes. 
just one Pokemon remain. The bit with the Fero you've seen on streams before, huh? Is it that infamous? Using that Fero to try and clean up? It seems risky. And now we play the game of is it going to use Hydro Pump or Return? It's all up to Wobbuffet. I'm not looking at notes now. I wanted to just kind of wing it for some of these battles. I won. I win. Yeah, I saw the stuff about Karen's Quick Claw Umbreon. That stuff is so stupid. <laughs> she always leads with it and can just sometimes be like, hey, yeah, you lose. Skill-based item. Wonderful. Hey, we did it. We wobbled our way to victory. No, I was no match for you at all. Who are you? Okay, not bad. We're certainly turning things around. I don't think I really have time to do another um, cup today because it can take like an hour. I'll do some more of these gyms though for sure. I really gotta do them in order. Uh, let's go see Erica, or looks like Erica's cousin. Okay, let me see what her Pokemon are so I can pick accordingly. Because it'd be stupid to just pick and then exit out. She's got Blossom, Tangula, Venusaur, Vaporeon. Interesting. Jumpluff and Chansey. Uh, Leafeon doesn't exist yet, so I guess that's why she has to have that one. Vaporeon's this there to cover the fire counters, I guess. Okay. Drill Peck Fero might not be too bad for most of these. It could also hit Chansey. However, the Chansey has Blizzard, but uh, we don't have to worry about that, hopefully. I could Hyper Beam the Chansey if needed. Uh, at that case, maybe I should give th this for freezing. What's the items? Chansey has Lucky Punch, of course it does. Tangula has Quick Claw. Jumpluff has nothing. Vaporeon has Scope Lens. It also has Rest and Sleep Talk. What a weird set that is. The Vaporeon's a menace, yeah. Maybe I should take... Oh, it'd be, this would be great if Zapdos had a flying move, because then I could cover a lot more, right? Uh, Pharaoh's my normal flying. Mm. What about Light Screen for Vaporeon? Because Vaporeon can only use special moves, so if I set up Light Screen and just wail on it with Thunder Punch, I might be able to slow it down. Or I could just go for the YOLO Thunder Strats with Raichu. Uh, how much HP you got? 146? I can also potentially go for... Seems like a lot of them have Sleep Powder. Holy crap, yeah, they almost all have Sleep Powder. Except Chansey, who has Sing. And Vaporeon just puts itself to sleep. So if that's the case... Hang on, do I have an Awakening Berry? What was that called again? The Mint Berry. So that one might be very important. Okay... Okay. Lucky Punch only works for Chansey, right? I think it does. Insert. I think Fero is a good cover for Chansey and all the, um... Yeah, all the grass types. Vaporeon has better special defense for sure, but has a ton of HP, which is a pain in the ass. Can always just YOLO Zap Cannon. Aerodactyl? Probably not. I got flying coverage. I should really look at something else. Fly on Dragonite's obviously not that bad, but the two turns are pretty rough. Robat has bite and fly. What did Togetic have? Fly and Metronome. That'd be so funny to just spam Metronome and win. <laughs> Maybe I should do that for one of the gym battles. Pick all Metronome. No, they probably would slaughter me. The rentals aren't fast enough for that. Uh, definitely don't want Quagsire here, that's for sure. Steelix is this. You can get Surf, though. I need a cover for Vaporeon, but who should it be? I'm thinking of Electabuzz, but I'm wondering who's better. Elekid has Thunderbolt and Light Screen. Wow, Elekid's actually fast. Too bad its special is, uh, ew. Kadabra does have Thunder Punch, and I could use the Psychic on Venusaur, but most of the other grass types are pure grass. Yeah, they all are. I suppose that would work. Thunder Punch for Vaporeon... Psychic for that. Um, 
We're just going with the classics again. Now, do I want Destiny Bond and or Wobbuffet? Hang on. The Mint Berry for going to sleep. That's very important. We want that on. Hmm. Charizard. It's got Fire Punch and Wing Attack. Not... Not really. Wing Attack for Chansey and Fire Punch for everything else except Vaporeon. I don't know. Let's just get surfed. A stab psychic on Kadabra is good for covering other stuff anyway. What about Rapidash and Ponyta? What do they have? Fire Spin and Toxic, Attract, and Stomp. Fire Blast, Sunny Day. What about that Hound Hour? I wonder if that Hound Hour would be good. Except some of the Pokemon have Solar Beams, so maybe not. I don't think Scyther... No, this is Gen 2. We don't really have bug moves to use. Scyther has Wing Attack. It don't even have Slash anymore. Poor thing. X. This is before x Scissor was a move. Hmm. Definitely don't want the fossils as well. So, Fero, Kadabra, what's... What am I not covered with? I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. Maybe it should just be Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet could always safeguard, but I don't want to give it the berry for falling asleep, because they're not going to attack it until after that happens, right? I can't exactly, like, counter a hard hit here, and they can't exactly one-shot Haunter either, so I don't know if Wobbuffet and Haunter are the plays. I could always pick Pineco and just go Explosion. I don't think they can one-shot me. Maybe I should just do that, huh? <laughs> Maybe I'll just do that. <laughs> I'll pick it just in case. But what other Pokemon should I pick in case that combo doesn't work out? Macargo, part rock still, so... The Hound Hour's got Flamethrower, Sunny Day, Sludge Bomb. I mean, it's fast. It's faster than Vaporeon. It's faster. Let's see, what else speeds it here? Only Venusaur and Jumpluff can do it. So I could get a good Sludge or Flamethrower or Sludge Bomb on Vaporeon to yeet out of there if it doesn't work out. The thing is, I don't think Wobbuffet will really work. I mean, if Vaporeon comes out. Wait a second. I didn't look at. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Erica has two restrictions on her team. Always brings Blossom, always brings Vaporeon. Okay, well that... She always has to bring those two. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. I'm not looking at the notes, I'm just looking at the team thing. That's really weird. <laughs> That's really weird. Oh, and guess what? Prefers not to lead with best Pokemon, and it seems like Vaporeon is always considered her best, because she never leads with it. That's strange. Really weird stuff. I should specify, again, I'm looking at the team info, not like the play-by-play the -play notes again. <laughs> That's strange. So she always has grass and water there. It's random what the other form will be, so we have to be prepared for that. Um, that Vaporeon is a menace, yeah? What about Nightmare? Maybe I could just throw Nightmare on Vaporeon, that'd be funny. If it comes to it. <laughs> yeah, just pick Haunter. Or sorry, Gengar and use that. That would be a godlike switch in, wouldn't it? Unless it uses Bite. No, Surf would do more damage in that case anyway. Do it for the memes. Give it a Burry. And what's one more I could throw in? Like, I'm picking stuff that I could swap around if I don't win the first try. Like, we're kind of... There's no pressure with the Kanto Gym Leaders, so it's easy to just kind of, like, gauge the rentals on my own right now and kind of feel them out. Like, you can learn a lot about the rentals doing this, and you can learn other stuff by, like, looking at, like, the notes on how you're supposed to do it otherwise. Hang on. Like, that stuff for the Elite Four was wild. The fact that someone pieced all that together is so cool to me. Oh, you also have Nightmare. Really? That's weird. And definitely take a surf if you go in. But everything else will put you to sleep. You know what? I'll just pick you, because why the hell not? We're, we're stuck at this menu.
Leafeon don't exist yet. Are you my partner? I hope that's okay with you. Girl, that could be taken a few different ways there. And what do we got? So we know that Blossom and Vaporeon always have to be chosen. Hmm. Also seems unlikely she leads with Blossom. Let's try a Fero lead, because Drill Peck and everything sounds fun. Hmm. And we'll take Kadabra and Gengar. Let's try that. It's the battle against Erika of the Celadon Gym. It's grass in here, all right. This game in Stadium 1 give Erika green hair for some reason. Okay, here comes the Tangela. Now we're going to use Drill Peck and watch it cry. Also, this thing has Quick Claw. And we just got Quick Claw. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hope you're all comfy. Let's have a little nap. Grab ourselves a snack, have a little blanket. Lay down in bed. What are you doing? Yeah, you are all right, aren't you? Solar Beam ain't really gonna do much to me. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. What's the chance of Quick Claw activating again? Thirty. Oh, you're switching. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, fantastic. It woke up. You knew. Critical hit. Delete. Critical hit. Ooh! I actually got it. Um, it's probably gonna go for rest now. I should go for hyper beam. That would kill it. Because drill peck won't get another critical, and I don't think drill peck normal will kill it. Let's do it. Revenge. Revenge! Stab Hyper Beam, go. Deleted. Quick Claw has a 5%, opponents is 50%. <laughs> yeah. That was a good sweep right there. Yes, it was. Oh, look who came crawling back. And now I gotta recharge, though. But this is fine. Hey, I've seen this one. Uh -oh, it fell asleep. Has it really drifted off to sleep? I like how she's saying that so smugly. Like, oh, did your Pokemon fall asleep? <laughs> what a story, Mark. And here we go. Who did I give the Mint Berry to? Kadabra. Well, we don't need to send in Kadabra just yet. We can just keep spamming Drill Pack until it's done. I genuinely believe Erica is a closet sociopath. Whenever you beat her in the Kanto games, her after-battle dialogue is something like, Oh, I would never use a Pokemon if it was ugly. I'm on to her. Here it comes again. Kill. 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 Now we're gonna play everyone's favorite game of Will the Quick Claw Activate. No, it didn't. Ooh! The blue spaghetti is down. Oh, you are strong. Yeah, we knew that was coming. So sorry, but you're dying. There it goes! Super effective. The teeny bopper's down. Return. <laughs> what do do? You killed. But oh, you're dead. Right you lost. What Pokemon will appear next? Oh, it's Kadabra. Yeah. Go ahead and use Psychic. Blast it with the spoon. 
A psychic blast. That critical drill pack helped so that didn't kill? Wow. I know your special defense is good, but jeez. Well, this is a problem. It restored its HP. Well then. A hot battle is here is hoping um I drop your special defense now. What now? Yes, uh oh. You got five moonlights. Use them all. Use them all. See if I care. That Ocarina of Time ass moon there. Oh, fantastic. I need a crit or a defense drop. Let's go. Mm hmm. I have more psychics and you have moonlight. <laughs> you go ahead. You go ahead and do that. In the business. Oh, I'm not going to roll the crit or the, the drop, am I? What are you doing? Oh, you lose. You threw. Oh, no, am I asleep? <laughs> Barry. I knew that would happen. False sense of a security there. You're dead. That's it. Clear. Hey, unbelievable. We did it again. I only lost Firo, really. It's no big deal. Your skills surpass mine. I can see defeat. Damn right you do. Well then, that's that. How about we fight Janine now? Oopsie. No register. Let's see what Pokemon she's got here. Okay, Crobat, Ariados, Weezing, Tentacruel, Gligar, and Stantler. Stantler's kind of random on there. Oh, can you guess what move they all have? It's Toxic. Toxic, of course it is. Wait, they all have Toxic and Attract. Some of them have Swagger. Some of them have... Supersonic. Oh, Confuse Ray. Oh, wow, they have everything. Her team actually is pretty toxic looking. Well then. This sounds like a job for the Pineco again. First, let's take in you. Um, hang on. Mint Berry, or the Confusion Berry would be very useful for you then. You don't need, there's no Poison Cure Berry for choosing. Steelix might actually be good here too, because it's immune to that. So let me go down to it. Item I could give it, maybe a berry. Problem is, like, the most damage I'll take on Steelix is probably Confusion. Mud Slap, yeah. I mean, hey, I could lower their accuracy if I fire with stupid crap. Wobbuffet's not really gonna do much here. Because uh, they're not using, like, conventional attacks for the most part. Tentacruel has Stab Surf, but. If I give you the berry. Oh, why not? Um, what else should we do? What else should we do? Some of them have spiderweb and mean look as well. Hold up. Is the baby mole a sweeper here? Wait, can it really? Just go in for fissure? <laughs> I could do that. Nah. Nah, I don't think that's a good idea. I have a track here. I'm fast. Not that fast. No, we don't get Miracle Berries. The game isn't that kind to us. The Diglett's actually used in Blue's battle, is it? It's funny. Just go for that. Hang on. Where's Pineco? Could explode with that, because they're going to waste their first turn. They don't seem to have Protect or Double Team. They can use a track, though, which sucks, but at least it won't stop me. Because they can't kill me one hit, so if I just pick, like, Explosion Pineco, that'd be really funny. 
and funny is the best way to win. Where was it again? Oh, there it is. It's above Steelix. Doesn't matter what I choose, really. And with those three picked, what else can I go for? I could pick the Diglett in case I feel like doing YOLO. Why not? But as for other stuff, what could I go for? Remember that Vulpix from earlier? I'm having flashbacks. Hmm, Pineco has one job. Maybe I can, I can also take in, if I want to take in a second bomb, I could take Voltorb, because Voltorb seems to be a good second bomb. So you can also use its speed to land a random thunder if you need it. <laughs> These berries do not matter at all. And who could be last? Who could be last here? Why do you have Dream Eater and Sing? That's so disgustingly bad. Hmm, another Psychic type? I don't think that'll really work there. I've got the bombs. I don't think I need Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet's not gonna work when they're using status moves. She's got she's got more status moves than Crystal Kaizo Koga. Hit them with Leech Seed! <laughs> no. Uh, what else we got? I don't think the last one really matters that much at all. Mostly just picking stuff for memes now for this one, huh? Yeah, send in Smoochum with Psychic. It'll do it. I'm never gonna pick it. I just need to pick something. Yep, I'm Janine. You saying you beat my father? Yes. Now then, we could just use Pineco and Voltorb, explode, and then see if Kadabra can just finish the rest. I'm gonna try that. It might fail, but hey, it'd be funny if it works. The opponent this time is Janine of oh, the, I forgot the poison oozing out of the walls. There's a crusty crab here. I'm gonna get poison, chat. You heard it here first. Hey, it's Crobat. Hey, Crobat, give me a mean look. Crobat got those funny-looking, like, like teeth and lips in this uh, model here. Okay. This might suck, but I can deal with it. The only attacking move Crobat has is Bite, which is funny. This is funnier, though. I thought that was really funny. Chat, you want to see another funny? <laughs> Pineco, good, come back. I want to see another funny. I'm going to do it. <laughs> yeah! I can't use Fissure on this or Crobat, so it's not probably the best option there. Self-struct. Give him the crazy Eddie. Will this kill him? Probably not, yeah. But he's in range to probably die from a Psychic now, so it's pretty much the same. Okay. Give him the Psychic Sweep. You can't do anything. It's actually perfect that it was Gligar, since Gligar's the only one that can, like, not die in one Psychic, I feel. Using this self-destruct to soften him up is good enough. And just like that, we turn it into a 1v1. Fantastic. Oh, you're probably the worst one that could have come out, to be honest. You can, you're definitely going to need more than one Psychic. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh. Let's go. Oh, I forgot to check the rules for Janine's AI. She always brings Crobat. Turn on the charm. Uh-oh. And just like that, it's all up to the coin flip. Flip a coin. Who wins? I win. Could this be it? Heck yeah. We did it again. There are 
I give. Well, that worked out pretty well. Nice. This feels very satisfying after those losses at uh, last stream. I keep putting it off, but I'm gonna have to try Little Cup, Prime Cup, and the rest of Challenge Cups again, though. <laughs> At least we're making progress, can say that much. Again, since Dylan's not coming over today, um, I just wanted to do, like, Stadium for around three hours, and then I'm gonna finish Pikmin 2, and then the Castlevania mod. Excellent. Because we got time. Um, how about Surge? I want to try that Diglett, because why not? It could be funny. Y'all seem to really want to see me meme with this thing. Hang on. Let me see what his Pokemon are, so I can plan accordingly. Okay, he always has to bring Raichu, which has Surf. Of course it does. Hold up. Oh, can you guess what I speed this Diglett speed ties with? <laughs> they both have 132 speed. Of course they do. Well then, we'll just have to have fun with that. Maybe I could just take all the moles. Mole sanity, because why not? Uh, what status conditions can they do? Obviously... Let me see... Da, 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 da. Porygon has try attack Hmm... So I guess maybe give it a random thing for freeze, who knows? Freeze, because why not? If I live that, anyway. I could take both moles and just go for this, because why not? Definitely outspeed him and just go for it. Bitter, Confusion, it's not a big deal. You can also just take Pineco and go boom. Because it's really funny when to do that. Let me see. Paralysis, because why not? And Voltorb is up top. Voltorb doesn't need the Paralyzed Cure. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do a long stream today. I was already going to go super long with Dylan today, but it's fine. We can do it another time. Hmm. I'm in no rush to get Umbrella Chronicles uploaded because I still have to piece together the rest of the Silent Hill stream. <laughs> which I'm taking eternity on. Okay, they're fast. No, they're too slow for that. What am I saying? What am I looking for? Voltorb. That's what I'm looking for. Burn, I guess. And what other nonsense could we choose? Maybe the Dawn fan, to be honest. All that actually wait no he's also got a lantern with surf so he's got some water coverage his magneton has sleep talk for some reason in case you randomly decide to put it to sleep but you know what i'll take this anyway because why not and what's another good one what's another good one destiny bond users anyone what do you think what do you think rock and all grass Oh, that's true. Venusaur could be good for Lantern. Let me try that. Giga Drain, Poison Powder. Yeah, it resists everything it does. Same with a lot of the other electric types. Electabuzz has Psychic and Ice Punch, though. That doesn't shock me because they all have that in Kaizo. Does Rental Raichu get Surf? No. No, it never does. Never does. Interestingly enough, though, I forgot to mention this. Um... When the AI is, like, choosing its optimal team, it considers every possible move that a Pokémon can learn when it sees the Pokémon on your team, right? Apparently, this game is also programmed to check for, check for a few event Pokémon that were released, and that includes things like the Magikarp that can learn Dragon Rage. So, if you have Magikarp on your team, the AI actually considers that it could be the event Magikarp, which is really silly to me. But it's kind of wild that they, uh, they programmed that in. But you'd never, like, obviously know something like that in casual gameplay for sure. I guess we'll take this. Um, there were very few event Pokemon by this point, though, for sure. I guess this will be okay. This is a meme team more than anything. He's got them sunglasses. Electric Pokemon are the best. Do you still want to try me? That Porygon could ruin everything. Now, obviously, he has to always start with Raichu 
or sorry, sorry, he always brings Raichu, but he'll, he won't start with it, I don't think, because he considers it one of his better mons. Okay. Yeah, that was a random Japanese event, right? A Magikarp that could use Dragon Rage. Um, okay now. So I could just start with Diglett and Spam Fissure. Or, 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 hear me out. I could just use uh, two explosions right off the bat. They're not exactly the most... Yeah, they're not exactly physical defenders. In fact, the highest... Uh, Magneton is probably the only thing that can stop that for sure, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. You know what? First, let's try a meme attempt. A complete meme. I will pick both moles, and I will try and just use Fissure. <laughs> and for the third... Um, how about Venusaur? We'll see if this works. Look at this. Look at this upgrade. I'll try explosion strats next time. Baby mole, go. I have a little Diglett hat on my Eevee, and let's go Eevee. Of course it's you. And we speed tie. Are you serious? He's not supposed to usually lead with this, apparently, but... Well... Speed tie, let's go. Yeah, <laughs> I lost the speed tie. No. Live, mole, live. No, I lost. I wanted to believe. Well, this one's probably already over, so I'm just gonna go magnitude. Dunk Trio will absolutely outspeed it. So I better roll a high magnitude or I ain't dying. Get some water here. It's not enough. Good lord, this did not work. Heck yeah, berry. So let's just roll for the next Pokemon. We'll just roll magnitude 10 and win. Oh, I got an eight. That probably would have killed him if it hit him last turn. But I rolled seven. Okay. That KO will bring out a new Pokemon. Oh, it's Porygon. Well, this is gonna be terrible. This is what I wanted the Oko for. Can't attract it. Well, nothing to do except magnitude. Six. <laughs> this did not work go my way I want at all, no. Hidden power. What type is it? Grass, ice, or water. No idea which one. Yeah, it's all over. Hopefully, like, this just crits or something. It's not gonna be enough. It's not gonna be enough. Go on, finish me, you coward. He has Psybeam to cover for this, apparently. So his hidden power is probably not ice. Well. There's still a chance I could win. Hopium. Ooh! Hold up! Hold up, I just got a crit! <laughs> I might actually still win this stupid attempt! Oh no! Look at that face. It's Lantern! Bro. <laughs> Why am I do this? This stupid meme attempt that I expected to win- to lose! What do we do? What's he gonna go for? Thunder Wave? Probably. Yeah. I don't remember who I gave the Paralyzed Cure to. Best he can do is Surf, Spark, or Take Down. Not very effective. 
Ooh, so sorry. So sorry. <sighs> oh, another crit. This Venusaur is cooking. Look at that. I can't believe I won that. That was really stupid. I went in with the two moles and I threw them away. Let's see, this is why it's fun to just mess around with stuff sometimes. But you can't really do that during the gauntlets because it's too risky. Look at that face. He's like, God damn it. Okay, I'll have to go back to camp and brush up on my training. Pokemon the hell out of him, didn't I? Well then, I think I got time for one more of these Kanto gems. Next time we can do some more cups and then do the rest of these, I feel. Um, I'm gonna save my revenge for Marty and Prime Cup another time. Uh, oh, I can go right to blue. I thought I had to wait until after. Um... How about Blaine? Do that. I'm doing mini- I can play mini games with Dylan sometime. I don't really want to play the mini games solo. So with Blaine, we'll save Sabrina for next time. Coincidentally, she's the next gym leader I'm at in Let's Go right now, wasn't she? So, what does he have? I should probably start with that. Always brings Rapidash. What? He considers Rapidash his freaking ace? He doesn't have Arcanine. Hold up. Why does he have Parasect? Hold up. He's got Rapidash with King's Rock. Nine Tails, Parasect, Flareon, Octillery, Macargo. Octillery. He's freaking Volkner now over here. Stealing the electric type ace. He leads with Rapidash often too, yeah. Hmm. You know why he leads with, with Rapidash? Because he also has one of the he also has one of the bullet points of prefers not to lead with best Pokemon. <laughs> He knows Rapidash is bad, too. Well then, so it's probably safe to just, like, use Quagsire or Seedra and Surf first. Right? Hang on. Rapidash is fast, though, so I'm not really gonna outspeed it. Hang on. Rapidash can use Sunny Day, so it's probably likely gonna set that up right away. So maybe I should lead with something else other than water. Hmm. Is Rapidash his ace in Johto? His team is so forgettable in Johto that I don't even care. Um, I guess he has Octillery to cover for, like, the rock ground types you try and bring in. All of his team has Sunny Day, except Octillery. Octillery's got Psy Beam, Bubble Beam, Octazooka, and Ice Beam. Well then. And Parasect is also just there to counter things. It's got Giga Drain and Solar Beam and Sunny Day. At least it makes sense to have that. Let me think now. I think... Hmm. It's not a guarantee you'll bring Parasect, so it probably wouldn't be best to bring in Fero. Hmm. I can't really use Pineco, because Pineco will die to a fire attack pretty easily. But what about... Voltorb will self-destruct won't kill with it really What on earth do I go for here then Going up here going up there Omastar has water gun <laughs> Water gun no ancient power and blizzard I wonder about the Dawn Fan. It doesn't have great special, though, but it can Earthquake most things, except the Octillery and Parasect will cover you badly. He leads with Rapidash often, though, so it could get a free kill with that. Can't really Destiny Bond this team either, can I? Hmm. I wonder what the play could here be. Well, I'll just take in Dawn Fan, give it heal for burn, I guess. What else we got here? There's Ursa's. Ursa has Dig, and it can fire punch the, um, it can fire punch Parasect with this. I just want an excuse to use the Teddy. Don't mind me. Give it a berry. Berry for the bear. Sneasel's got Ice Punch. I really don't know what to take here. 
his team is just kind of whatever, isn't it? Do I want to go boom? In thunder with you, but that won't really do anything. Hmm. Problem is, if he brings in... If he brings in Octillery and Parasect, that can be annoying. Gastly's got Shadow Ball and Psychic. That doesn't matter. Do I want Dodri or Firo here? It wouldn't be the worst thing to take in. A spam in Drill Peck and Hyper Beam, but I already have a normal type with Ursa now. Golem's got Magnitude. I could also just take in Diglett and use freaking Earthquake or something. Or Doug Trio Magnitude, but... I already have all that. Oh, pardon me. A lot of his Pokemon are fast, so I can't really get away with spamming Surf with Seedra against it. Plus, Sunny Day will just delete the water stuff. I could use Quagsire and use Dig against it. Honestly, that wouldn't be the worst thing ever. O only Parasect has Solar Beam. What do we have here? Paralysis, Freezing, Slash, it doesn't really matter. What else we got? Haze, Nightshade. Fortress is that. The rest of the Mon choices don't really matter if I'm going for this. What about Kingdra? Kingdra can extra resist fire moves and spam Waterfall, I guess. And Dragon will get rid of the Solar Beam resistance if it comes to it. And the Ice from that. You know what? Maybe Kingdra wouldn't be so bad. Hold up. And that's the case. Maybe I should give you the Burnt Berry if it comes to that. Blissey's down there. What else could we take? What else could we take? Electabuzz, not really. Starmie's got Waterfall Zap Cannon. No wrong answers here, I suppose. Executor can put things to sleep and use Nightmare, <laughs> if it works. Haunter is Haunter. Magneton has Thunder and Thunder Wave, but, like, you know, it's not fast enough to really do that. And it's Steel-type, so it's not going to really work here. Okay. Slowbro has Surf. It might be a good Surf user and can resist things if it works out. But, hang on, what's your special? No, Seedra will work out better. Almost. I, have, I can use Kingdra for that. Tentacruel's got Bubble Beam and Sludge Bomb. High special. But Bubble Beam. Good golly. Could just take in my own Parasect, but it would die to all the fire types. God, you don't even have freaking... Ugh. Fuse Ray. You got Metronome on these boys. Why not? Why shouldn't I take in a metronome user? Take in the Clefable, because why not? What's the worst that could happen? And I don't know what else to choose, so I'll just pick you. Aerodactyl basically just gets ancient power. That's all the rental one can do. Men who have burning ambition use fire Pokemon. Say your prayers. So he's more than likely going to lead with Rapidash. Hmm. I use Earthquake. Be fine. Let's try Dawn Fan, Ursa Ring, and Kingdra. Hey, look at that lava. It's like a Mortal Kombat arena. Let me get some water. Let's just do this gym, and then I'll take a quick break and switch to the rest of Pikmin. All I have left in Pikmin 2 is the Dream Den. The last cave. I just I went for five hours or so yesterday, and I just did not have time to finish. And time opened up tonight, so we can do that. So, odds are you're probably going to set up Sunny Day. That seems to be the whole shtick of your team. You're switching. He's probably going to Parasect. Unless he went to Macargo, which would be really funny. Parasect doesn't have Spore, so I should be fine. Okay, no problem. See, here's a problem I just realized. When my brain picked Ursa Ring, 
it, th it thought that fire punch was a physical move, and I'm, then I'm like, wait a second. No, that was a that was a dumb decision. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. I, God, I like hiccup blacked a little bit. That hurt. <laughs> I just probably made the most painful noise ever. Ow. Anyways, uh, I guess Ursa Ring to do this. I saw a bear and I took the bear. That's right. I didn't consider anything else. I saw a teddy and I'm like, I'm ready. Oh, it's Ursa Ring. Big teddy. You roar. What are you doing? Building up power for its next He's attack. taken in sunlight. What impact will this Pokemon switch have on the battle? I'm just gonna go fire punch, bro. What are you gonna do? He has a quick claw. And he yeah, that's why he went first. Duh. Okay, that's fine. I can take another one. Unless you want a sunny day first. Either way, I got turns. Teddy Punch. Damn, I can't even one-shot Parasect. This is a good hit, though. You say Parasect can't, couldn't survive it, but hey. Told ya. It's a special move, so... Ursa Ring has served its purpose, so we don't need it anymore. Now we're just gonna spam Dig. Larion's being a little floofy friend. I could use Rest and Stab Snore, but let's be real, it's not really gonna work. I don't have the stats to keep alive even after I rest. I'm alive! Go, Teddy, go! I love that, like, flex in Ursa Ring does. It had a little snack underground. It made a cozy little hole, and now it's just gonna do this. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. The sunlight has turned harsh. The burn. There's the attack. It's super, super effective. effective. Now he's just gonna miss the um the fire blast, and I'll finish it with the bear. The bear is ready to throw down. Duck and cover, fire blast. He looks nervous about that. Teddy's been cooked to a crisp. It's already hot enough, yeah. Okay, so at this point, Flareon can't do Solar Beam, neither can Rapidash, so Kingdra's Waterfall is weakened, so we can just use Dawn Fan and sweep with Earthquake now. We've literally won. This is great. Victory lap indeed. That stock, like, elephant screech. A hot battle is unfolding. Here he goes. Unless he burns me, but I gave the burn berry to Dawn Fan, so I should be okay. Oh my god. What? That killed? Huh? I know my special defense isn't the best, but it's Flareon. The sunny day, like, carried it harder than I thought. Oh well. It can't be helped now. Okay. One Pokemon faces two now. Great. Now real and hope for a crit with Waterfall, because the sun's going to weaken it. Oh, well. Pokemon Unfortunate. Oh, yeah, no, its special attack is still good, even though its attack is better. Larion was saving that shot for the haters. No, yeah, its special attack is actually a lot more decent than I thought. I thought it, Flareon was uh, physical focus, but it's not that far behind. I guess, yeah. Oh, well. I don't know the base friendship of the rental, so I don't know how strong frustration will be. I should be fine. Okay, the only thing Rapidash can do is Fire Blast and Stomp. And Agility and Sunny Day, but I, I think we got this. I hope, maybe. <laughs> I double resist fire, Pokemon so there's no way it'll use anything but stomp. It's down to the last Pokemon now. The oh boy. Here it comes. What's this? What? He got a crit. He got a crit. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Oh no. It's all up to the last move. The last move, here we go. What now? That was a glancing blow. No! Oh, 
I flinched. It's over. All that to a flinch. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. I lost to the flinch on Stomp. <laughs> That's so silly. Well then. Well, I guess I can't really rely on Dawn Fan. Its special defense is too weak. It can't really take the Sunny Day Fire Blasts. Let's re-enter. Blaine was not ready for that trash talk. <laughs> He's having enough. Well then. Men who have burning ambition, blah, 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 blah. Okay then. Maybe this time I should go Quagsire, Ursaring, Kingdra. And just like last time, if he switches to Parasect. Um... Yeah, if he switches to Parasect out of Quagsire, I can just go to Ursaring and deal with that. <sighs> that should work. Okay, Quagsire, Ursaring, Kingdra. Let's try that. I'm a little upset about that. <laughs> I had that one in the bag, and it turns out there was a hole in the bag, and it fell out all over the floor and made a mess. Let's do it. Oh yeah, we've definitely been passing the three hour mark. I don't even need to edit this episode. It's just been like nonsense three hours straight. He always seems to lead with Rapidash, yeah. I, there's no point buffing myself with Amnesia if he switches. I'll just use Surf, because he's probably going to go into Parasect. No reason to go underground. What? No, come back. Okay, we know two of the team. Possibly Flareon's last. Okay, he's going to charge... Ursaring is essentially just here for, um, Parasect. Which, considering I'm only using it for fire moves, I probably should have picked a different Pokemon other than Ursaring. But I can use a backup dig, I guess. Remember, this thing's got a quick claw, so it can randomly just outspeed me. No, Teddy, no! There's the shot! What? Dude, he got the crit. He got the crit. There it goes. You've had enough of those today. I had a teddy snack. Okay, nice. Well then. Well, I still have the lead, but things could go south. Oh dear. Octillery's the last one. Oh god. Octillery is very slow. Hmm. I could go for rest and then snore. Or I could just hit him with like one dig. I might as well try it. Who knows. No, he outspeeds me. Ursaring was too slow. The rental one anyway. So now, Quagsire and Kingdra. Sunny Day has not been activated, so it might be best to just use Kingdra's spam Waterfall. Does Waterfall have the flinch chance in Gen 2, or was that added later? I don't actually know. Octillery also has a focus ban, so 10% of the time it can ruin your day. <laughs> just like the flinch chance. Oh, the teddy's down, I know. Ah, Quagsire is can do fine against Rapidash as well, so I think I should just Kingdra. Focus Band just has a 10% chance of keeping you alive and hanging on 1 HP. Fun. Okay, let's go Waterfall. The Rental Kingdra has seemingly good stats. Why did I do that? I meant to... I said Waterfall, too, right? I meant to, I meant Twister. I said that out loud, too, like a maniac. Hang on a second. Power this. 
Like, this is the one I want to flinch. Does it also... It doesn't say anything about a flinch chance on Waterfall, though. Only in Gen 4 does Waterfall get flinch. Okay. Now let's whittle it down with this. I don't know why I said Waterfall. Here comes Ice Beam. Oh, boy. Here we go. I may as well just try frustration at this point, huh? This isn't going very well. Damn it. I'm barely doing any damage to it at all. I may as well just leer it. This artillery kind of messed me up too much. Now just use Dig with our good little friend Quagsire now. Come on. He just had to take the octopus this time and ruin it. Let's go for a dig. Yeah, of course you go first. Ugh. This is frustrating. All this ruined. What are you doing? Spitting. Hope this can kill. A critical! Oh! Hang on. The comeback is here. Okay. Rapidash has weaker defense than um, special, and it can activate Sunny Day, so it's probably best to keep using Dig. Hold up. 60. Jeez, the power to dig went down to 60 this gen? Oh, that's bad. It's probably just gonna spam... Either way, I'm not gonna one-shot it anyway. It's probably gonna spam Stomp. Nope, it's going Fire Blast. There we go. No, in Gen 1, Dig's power was 100. With the sunshine. Yep, he's doing that. So, Surf isn't a good option. I just gotta hit one more. Just gotta hit one more. Don't get RNG'd, dude. Don't get RNG'd. Wait, no. If Fire Blast hits, it'll kill me for sure now. What am I saying? Don't. 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 Please miss. I'm out of miss here. I live in... Come on. Go for it, bro. Go for it, bro. This has to kill. There's no way he lives this. There's no way. Holy moly, another close game. He missed because I was underground, though. It doesn't count. <laughs> it doesn't count. Holy moly! The little friends do it again. Just barely. Just barely with my bear. I'll go back and work on my basic skills again. Yes, you should. Oh, would you look at that. All that's left is blue, Sabrina, and probably red after this. And then round one for Gym Leader Castle's done. Okay, I think we can definitely call today a pretty good victory. Um, we beat Challenge Cup Pokeball tier. We beat the Elite Four in Johto and took out most of the Kanto Gym Leader Castle. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. We're getting slightly closer to round two. I would definitely say I'm a lot more satisfied with this session than last time. Which, again, as well as it went, uh... Marty kind of just destroyed me with that critical blizzard on my Zapdos, which is terrible. 
Can't come into Stadium 2 just picking random things. Yeah, you have to have some knowledge or you're just going to get, like, destroyed. But I'm going to take a quick break. And then we're going to set up and play Pikmin 2. Uh, we just got one dungeon left, so... But it's long, so it probably could take, like, one or two hours. But anyways, if you're watching this on YouTube, I hope you're still enjoying the Stadium streams. I'm pretty glad to have turned this around a bit. But I'll be right back. If you're watching on Twitch, we're continuing. If you're watching on YouTube, and this is goodnight. Bye-bye.